welcome to the office everybody nocturne thank you for the follow um let me see let me just uh pull up my clipboard here uh we've got over 300 people in the waiting room now unfortunately for those who are going to be game slaughter thank you for the follow for those who are going to be uh hired um we've only chosen uh, uh four interview candidates uh uh P P Penny Parker, Marble Cantus, uh, Holly Ooh. Hollow Tones, and uh, myself. I'm putting myself. I'm putting. I'm I, even though I am the manager here. I'm going to hire myself. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. I expected a lot of people to show up, but oh wow, there's a lot of people. Um, I'm gonna be a little behind on notifications and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna read out follow messages tonight, depending on how things go. Um. What I am gonna do is donation messages and fall or and subscription messages and all that stuff. I'm gonna read in between rounds of fun employed, but that's all the either here or there. Eh, that's either neither here nor there at the moment because I gotta I gotta I gotta explain who I am. I gotta talk some stuff. We got a whole bunch of new people. Hello, howdy. How's everybody doing? I have a uh, I, I I I have a Twitch channel and you are on it. It's nice to see you all. Uh, so for all the new people who are here who have either not heard of me before or have heard of me but haven't watched the stream, my name is Sophie. I'm a variety streamer. I've been streaming for a little under a year now. Um, I I am uh, uh, friends with Penny, Marble, and Holly, and 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 we, we we were getting together today to play some fun employed. Um, some stuff that I want to get through. The the I got some typical housekeeping stuff. Um. Uh, let me start out with, uh, the most important one. Uh, I have been pushing for partner lately. I am very close. Our average viewers right now are at, like, 50. We need 75. We're so freaking close. Um, and so if you want to help me with that, it'd be very appreciated. Uh, me getting partner, I mean, you've probably, if you've been on Twitch for a while, you probably know what that means. But, like, I get a cool purple check mark next to my name. I get quality options because apparently twitch took away the quality options for today's stream which sucks um i'll get more income i'll get a bunch of stuff it's great um but yeah so partner is what we're looking for if you want to help me get partner all you got to do is watch these freaking streams tell your friends to watch these streams uh put put me on the news go to cbc put me on there <laughs> um Oh, geez, what else? Uh, we got more stuff to talk about. Rules. There's a lot of folks here, so I'm going to ask that people read up on the rules, uh, get, uh, you know, get familiarized with that. We have a pretty chill, pretty cool hangout zone here. It's it's not super duper, like, hardcore or nothing. We have a very welcoming space. A lot of people like to hang out here. Um, but we also want to keep it a very pleasant space. We want to keep everybody comfortable. So, yeah, please familiar si uh, familiar size. <laughs> I'm adorable. Uh, familiarize. Eh. Oh my goodness. I'm all flustered. Familiarize. There we go. Yourselves with that. And uh, yeah, I think we're good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What else? Um, Donations. This is my main source of income. I make all my dollars off of this. I, I, I use that to buy food and sometimes to live in a house. Um, and if you would like to support me and make sure I can keep doing this whole streaming thing, uh, you can send me a donation. There's the exclamation point donate command in chat, or you can scroll on down to the info tab. Uh, any donation over a dollar, which is the minimum you can donate anyways in, in uh, Streamlabs, uh, will be put up on screen. And like I said earlier, I'm going to read those in between uh, fun employed rounds. Normally I read them as soon as they come up, but I don't want to. I want to let the bits, you know, I want them to flow. Holy shit. <laughs> so we have a, we, we're backed up on followers, so that's going to take a while to show up. But old man Henderson just donated 69.69 said uh -huh, nice <laughs> um but yeah so i think that's everything like i said hi it's nice to meet everybody my name is my name is sophie uh for somebody i saw somebody asking chat is my rig actually encased in cardboard yes it is uh <laughs> oh man we just had four gift subs donated oh my god there's a hype train oh my god so much is happening but before I go crazy, go stupid over this. I'm going to hop into the fun employed chat that I have with Holly and Marble and Penny. Penny's eating dinner right now. I think Holly just finished her spaghetti <laughs> and Marble's in there now. So we're going to hop in there, let them introduce themselves and Penny should show up pretty soon here. Let me crack in. Howdy gamer girls. Hello. Hello. Can you guys hear about spaghetti? 
I heard about spaghetti. Heard about spaghetti. What's the deal with that shit? <laughs> What's the deal with spaghetti? Who is it? He always spaghetti. I just don't know about it. <laughs> How's it going? How are so, you two doing? I just so fucking get it. I'm good. I, I had a, I had a pretty good day. I've Hell just been yeah. I've just been working on some fun creative stuff. So that's exciting. I'm there's so many to... subs happening. There's so, yeah. there's so there's many so subs. Many what subs? is this? Let's donate another ten. Somebody else donated three. I think somebody else donated three before that. Holy shit! Hell oh yeah! Everyone's gosh. coming through for my girl Penny. Yeah. I, Sophie. I, 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 Penny? See, I, I saw the wrong name in chat, and I got it mixed up. We're off to a good start. <laughs> I'm Penny now. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Me mixing just don't. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to get to okay. the event feed here because I literally can't keep up with it. But okay. where is it? Me mixing just sent off uh, 10,000 bits. That's, That's a most, lot of bits. That's the most bits I've ever seen. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, my dear There's God. There's so many bits. Oh, my God. There's gosh. so much happening. Um, well, we got a little bit till Penny- holy shit, the hype train is just- it's at 480% right now. Um, oh my god, old man <laughs> Anderson. <laughs> what oh the my god. is happening? Oh what my god. What the hell is happening? Jesus Christ, that's 69 gift subs. We haven't even started. <laughs> old man Henderson, what the hell? <laughs> I just- I want to point out, we're at 1647% hype train. <laughs> what? Can do better than that. What is this? Holy a firehouse shit. subs? Because because be, there's a lot of because there's a lot of subs in here. Chad, I know you can do more than that. <laughs> All right, let me crack my knuckles here. Hey, Viv TV Slime King, Mike, comma puncher, don't want to be a hero. The Roxy B, Caitlin Gregory, Michael O two thousand, the Ninja Slorlax, and like seventy other people. Welcome to the community. <laughs> Enjoy your subs. <laughs> Well, while we've got a little bit here until Penny shows up, do you all want to introduce yourselves and, and plug and stuff? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, hi. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is My name is Marble. Um, I am loud on the internet. Uh, that's like that's like my whole my whole job and my whole deal. Uh, I have a, a Twitch stream that you could follow. Um, at twitch.tv slash marblecantus uh, and also my twitter is at marblecantus and it's just marble c-a-n-t-u-s um, I have a webcomic called Dread Me Not that just resumed regular updates uh, it, uh, it, 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 a page is released every Tuesday and Friday um, and I have a fun little stream series I'm working on right now called uh, 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 Guilt Saga and it's like a lore heavy plot heavy uh uh, uh, Pokemon White, uh, randomized Nuzlocke, and it's it's a whole lot of fun. That's uh, that's coming out soon, and yeah, that's all the that's that's all the shit I do. That's it. That's good shit. That's good shit that you do. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're um. So I just I, before Holly before you plug and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. we just got to Old Man Henderson's donation from like the very start of the stream. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> we are so behind. I need to change how my notifications work because this isn't gonna <laughs> work forever. Hey chat, there's still two minutes left on that hype train. You know what you gotta do, don't you? We're gonna break 2000%. We better. All right, Holly, my go ahead, do, do your thing. Hey, it's me, I'm Holly. I live in your computer and you might know me from internet or video maybe. Uh, I got a Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash hollow underscore tones. Uh, I got some big news coming soon regarding my streams. Ooh. Uh, keep your eyes locked for that. Uh, you can check out my Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash hp underscore hollow tones. Um, that, that's about it. That's about all I wanted to say for now. Keep them that's guessing, good. you know. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hell Pen yeah. Penny's not here yet, so we can't quite start, but... Um, fuck, I guess I'll take the time to, like, see if there's some stuff that I can, <laughs> I can read off here. Um, let me point out, we got cute little corner art. I'm just editing it live because I'm professional. Um, but we got cute <laughs> little corner art there that Duke made for the stream. Little phone employee jobs, hats, trading. It's, it's good stuff. Um, it's I adorable. haven't showed, yeah, I haven't showed you to it yet, but it's down there if you want to check it out. Um, God, let me pull up the event list here. Okay. Okay, it's so many that it crashed. But it's, it's back Aww. now. <laughs> uh, okay, wow, we're getting like dollar donations here, so I can read those out. 
Uh, <laughs> Krungus donated three dollars and said, "Oh Lord, here comes the support." Flies out open window. Thank you. <laughs> Every time I've seen Krungus donate to any stream, their donation message is always some variant about flying out of a window and into open traffic. <laughs> I appreciate the support you've been giving to so many people. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm worried about you. Uh, Legend Zeke donated a dollar and said, May buy some food or maybe a house or car. I don't know. Uh, actually, AAOS donated 200 bits and said, or didn't say nothing. Um, we got, no. an wait, is that another 10,000 or is that the 10,000 bits from earlier? I don't remember. <laughs> I think that's the, that's, I don't even remember. But Old Dan Henderson donated 10,000 bits. <laughs> um, Rasparis donated 569. Uh, and said, I'm so excited for the stream. Y'all, me too. I'm freaking excited. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic. Um, I don't think I'm gonna read the bits, because so there's so many. <laughs> but, uh, there's so many bits. There's so many bits. We yeah, donated four. $5. Uh, Just like oh, no, on this yesterday. stream, there's gonna be so many bits. Uh-huh. What the? the like, tell lots of goofs and jokes. Cleaver donated five dollars and said 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 I'm getting too much mileage with this bit. <laughs> and Austin donated another ten subs. Holy shit. There's 450 people here. That's the most I hey, think I've ever had tonight? here. That's a lot of people. Hi all the 450 people. That's a lot of folks. I'm glad, so I'm glad people are excited for this. I was really excited to to get the gals together. I've been waiting all week for this. Me too. <laughs> yeah. This past week went really fast. I expected it to take longer. I was worried. I was mm -hmm. like, oh man, it's never gonna happen. This this was like the week from hell for me, so I felt like I was stuck in the fucking hyperbolic time chamber <laughs> until like <laughs> maybe about a day or two ago, and then suddenly it's been like, oh, now a day lasts for four seconds. Oh yeah. Um I'm thinking I might want to turn off my notification sounds <laughs> for this, this stream. This is, this is the first, like, day this entire week that I have gotten any sleep at all. And I feel great, so I'm yeah, ready. Yeah. This entire week I've slept, like, four hours a night, but this time, this time I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna mute the alert box, I think. God, I, I feel that, though. Last night, I feel like I just passed out on my bed and died for eight hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I slept for 11 hour. hours last night, and I, I woke up feeling like a person. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. I love waking up and feeling normal. Yeah. And I took a nap, like, like two hours ago. So, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, good. I'm, like, I'm, like, all the way good. <laughs> Holy shit! We're we're up to date on the events. We're up to date. We've, oh. We beat it. <laughs> also, we thank you for 20 everyone. bucks, Shark Waves. Uh, we donation bar go up. <laughs> and another 604 from Idiotic Diplomat. Hi, this is a really good birthday gift. What the fuck? Sophie, you're so cool and good. What the fuck? I don't know if it's allowed. It's allowed. I said it's so. Allowed. What the fuck? It's allowed. Um, it's allowed. How do you turn off the alert box sounds? Because I muted it in OBS and it didn't work. I just don't know. I just don't know. And I think you have to do it in Streamlabs, too. though. I think maybe you might have to do it in in like Streamlabs website. What? Well, wait. Do you use Streamlabs OBS? Or yeah, I do. OBS? I do. Oh well, then you could do it in Streamlabs. Oh, OBS. mute in Windows. Oh, 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 Alexa, you're a genius. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boom. Done. Fixed. All done. There we go. Friendly Frank decided only five dollars. Let's hear for the girls. Thank you. Oh, I bumped my mic real hard there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to boot up Tabletop Simulator here. Where is this program? Where's this program? <laughs> There it is. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I really want to see this. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Whoa, it is so bad. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll, I'll share the screen. We can see these lovely 
mobsters. Did I mute everyone? Wait, what happened? Apparently I muted you guys? Hi, I can hear you now. Hi. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I think, I think what happened is Tabletop Simulator, that squelch was so powerful. Wait, they still can't hear you guys, what? But I didn't mute you guys. I actually don't know. My desktop audio is not muted. What the fuck? This isn't supposed to happen. I... That must be it. OBS itself as You're a program, then oh, yeah. that might be the case. That's so weird! Okay, okay, oh. that's fucking weird. Um... So when you mute in Windows Mixer, OBS, thank you for the another 6969, Jesus Christ. Thank you, oh, Old hey, Man Henderson. Wow. Okay, good. So when you mute OBS, so I, I've muted it, right? So you couldn't hear the diddlings anymore. Mm -hmm. But it turns out when you mute it, it also just can't listen to your desktop mm -hmm. anymore. Huh. <sighs> okay. Normal program. Normal Why program. I just don't understand. That just makes me wonder, like, how, what kind of backwards ass way are they listening to my computer? Humanity's greatest trick <laughs> was convincing everyone that computers work. The, Wait, I, do they not? <gasps> Penny! Oh, hey, what's up? Hi, Penny! Hi. <laughs> I'm here. Welcome, Penny. We're all here. Well, I'm here. I just ate Borbger no bun. No bun? Strong. Burger, no, no bun. bun. Burger, no, no bun, bun burger. Burger, that's just Bur a patty. Burger, burger, no bun, and get this mashed potato. <gasps> mm. nice. I've, I've had no mashed potatoes, potatoes. Potato combo. I have <laughs> had mashed potatoes like four times this week, and I'm not I, tired of it. Me too, <laughs> and me neither. <laughs> I am. Um, we are on the same page. Hell yeah! I have like a like a whole ass uh, Tupperware jar of mashed potatoes left oh over in the God. fridge, and I'm just Powerful. ready to just fucking destroy it later this week. Oh my god. I almost had mashed potatoes tonight, but I don't think those generally go well with spaghetti. False. And I didn't want to just have mashed I mean, potato. Maybe if you're a coward. Confirmed? <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, I... Sorry, I don't mean uh -oh. to interrupt. Um, there's a whole bunch of donations. I don't know what I'm going to do about these because there's so many. <laughs> I know Dab... Okay, Dabber said Dab Dab and gave me 30 bucks. Krungus did it three dollars. I don't know if I'm gonna able to read all the messages. Oh, um, Krungus. Lo, the <laughs> lo, the will to fight shall withstand the inflicted pain of my donating brand. The flutter of cash down the empty lane. The hunger Krungus shall strike again. <laughs> I really wanted to read that. Uh, um, but yeah, I I don't know what I'm gonna do about these notifications because I don't know how to mute it without muting all of OBS for some reason. You're but gonna do your best. I'm gonna do my best. But Penny, uh, do you do you oh, do you know how do you know how to have you separated the alert sounds into their own audio track? I thought I did, that. but I, I thought I did, but I suppose not. I'm not huh. gonna worry too much about it right now because yeah. I got a fun. I gotta get a job. I need to work. I'm unemployed. I mean, fair. Right now. Yeah. Um. So, Penny, would you like to introduce yourself and plug in all that real quick? Hi, I'm Penny Parker of Snapcube. Uh, I uh, have a YouTube channel called Snapcube. Real-time fan of games is what we're most known for. But we also do a lot of really fun Let's Plays and stuff that you should check out if you haven't yet. Um, I'm also on Twitch under Snapscube uh, because the world is unfair. And... <laughs> <laughs> we live in a cruel simulation. Um, and I am also on Twitter at Snapscube uh, for all the same reasons. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, that's where you can find me. I do a lot of shit. Uh, I spent about four hours today on Dreams for the PS4 oh. uh, experimenting with shit. So that oh, I can yeah. maybe even do cooler shit in the future, and I'm really excited. About That's that. exciting. I don't, why, yeah. I don't know why I put that in my plug, but it's just it. It. I think it's just because it's been on the mind today. It's just Hell taken yeah. up so much of my brain real estate today that it's like <laughs> it's ever present. Anyway, people need to know. Oh, 
yeah. figured it out. I figured out how to control the audio through OBS, I think. Through nice. Things. Did I? Did I not? Wait. I just pressed a button that said control audio through OBS. But now I don't know where it is. It should have its own somebody, audio mixer. Somebody make it do a thing, and then we'll find out. Actually, wait, I can just do test widgets. Here we go. Yeah, I, I muted just, it. Oh, thank God. I just Hell like yeah. to hit all the buttons and hope that it works. Yeah, okay, thank God. Let's get started. Holy shit. Wait, I'm like, I am, oh, cool. <laughs> oh, whoa, Sophie Baby's now following you. That's wild. Whoa, Sophie whoa. Baby's following me? That's crazy. She's famous. I heard of her. <laughs> I heard she got like 472 viewers on a fun employed stream. What the fuck? What the That's fuck? That's bonkers. <laughs> Let me create this room. Alrighty. Uh, where? There's fun employed. Hell yeah. Penny, I don't think I have you on Steam. Um, most people don't. <laughs> well, not much I can do about that. <laughs> Here we what? go. Uh,. Oh, I don't know how to invite people on Most here Most people either. don't. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, an ex it's an exclusive. I'm also not online on Steam right now because I don't like to be ever. I don't mm -hmm. like. I don't like people knowing what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you trying to parse from this information? Fuck off. Hold on, I gotta fix it. They can see my Discord messages, and people keep sending me like hi mom messages. How do you? God, there's so much happening. How do you tell you the use, like, Discord overlay to stop? Settings. They're, oh yeah, I can just go do not disturb. That'll work. Mm -hmm. There's so much happening. I'm I'm not used to more than like 50 people here. Here we go. Do not disturb. There you, we go. You Quit better disturbing get used to me. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, let me get y'all in are here. You, are you Sophie, baby? On, on uh, oh, yeah, I yeah. Um. It's not letting me invite you, <laughs> guys. And oh, I can so, invite you to watch. So, do you want to watch? Do you guys want to watch the stream? I would. I would love to. Um, I always wanted to watch. Did you? Did you make stream. a multiplayer game? Like, oh, I with think a I made it single player. <laughs> no, I think I made it single yeah. player. That's probably what it is. Okay. Uh, f yeah. First, uh, click the flip the table button. Okay. It's uh, literally the most important oh, mechanic in the whole well, game. Well, hold on. I don't want people to see the pay. Sword. Actually, I'll just, can I make it friends only? I can't even make it friends only. What the heck? What the frick? What the f fuck? <laughs> what the f <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm inviting y'all. I'll put the password in uh, our chat. There you go. It's a good password. It's a pretty good password. There we go. Now I can invite you. Oh, so much better. <coughs> Let me. me just enter the password. That's I'm five. In. It worked. I just, I, I couldn't wait to start. I came right in. I came Hell as soon yeah. as I heard. Oh, Hell I yeah, you to gotta get that jobs. Oh boy. Hell yeah. Uh, so, um, I know, Penny Marble, I know y'all have played Fun Employed, but I don't think, Holly, you haven't, right? Nope. Sick. Oh, well, uh, I will explain the rules real quick. Uh, yeah. So essentially, it's uh, it's an improv game. We're all looking to uh, get a get a good jobs. Um, the, the way the game works is one person is the uh, employer and the others are the employees. We go around the table and switch every uh, every round. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody gets three qualification cards and then the employer gets one job card as well as one qualification card for every member of the table who's applying. Uh, so for example, if I was hiring them, I'd take this and then three qualification cards. Um, they will uh, apply for the job, but they have to use the uh, things in the cards uh, is the thing. For example, this card says passive aggressive. They would have to, you know, be passive aggressive, improv that, and include that in their resume, and you know, be like, "This is why this is a good thing for you to hire me with." Mm -hmm. And then, like, the jobs are things like a uh, model and stuff. It's a good time. I'll shuffle these. Ooh, I'll shuffle these up. Here we go. Nice. Um, so I guess I'll start as the employer. No. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. Like. Yeah. Also, also, some of the cards are problematic. So we have oh, yeah. this. Uh, there's a discard pile, and then over here can be like our discard sucks pile. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah, so, so it you... doesn't get shuffled back in. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Here, so do we a... do we just take our Yeah, have, go ahead and take your cards. Them? Let's do it. Let's get started. I'm gonna okay. them. make a discard. I assume you already did, but I did it anyway. Yeah, it's oh. okay. I'll oh. make a poo poo pile. <laughs> ah the poo poo pile. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh and then let me bring the game back up because I totally forgot to bring it back. Oh, Chad has been yelling at me for a while. I don't remember oh. I can flip the cards. Uh, it's F for flip. Oh. Oh, no. Did you get bad ones already? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to get rid of them. Let's flip, let's flip the bad cards upside down. <laughs> yeah. I got one well, really good card, and then the rest... I'm going to, okay, I'm going to just, I'm just going to put that right there. Okay. Good plan, good plan. All right, we good? Yeah. Hell yeah. Got an interesting set of cards here. Hell yeah. All righty, all righty, ladies. Welcome to The Bachelorette. <gasps> you you <laughs> fine ladies, I've never watched The Bachelor Bachelorette. They hired me to get some new bachelorettes. I don't, I've never seen the show, so like I'm kind of winging it here, but uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that you you just go you go on dates, and so I'm pretty sure most people are pretty qualified for dates. So I'm I, but I can only hire one of you. So uh, uh, three of you, I would like for you to tell me what makes you the most dateable, what makes you the hottest of ladies. Um. We're gonna go around the table. Let's start with Holly Hollow Tones. Uh, what makes you dateable? What makes you hot and sexy? First of all, I'd like to thank you so much for having me in the running here on The Bachelorette. It's an honor. Big fan of the show, big fan of the romance and all that. Well, there's one thing every single contestant on The Bachelorette needs, and that's to be just so hot and sexy and well, with my flaming sword, of course, there'll be no shortage of hardness. And anyone who tries to come between me and my man, <laughs> let's just say they won't be a problem anymore. <laughs> of course, there's got to be more to a woman than just her burning weapon of choice. And of course, that's why I always bring my decoder ring with me. <laughs> you can send secret private messages to different contestants on the show. Perhaps that would be interesting. Absolutely, that could that could add an element of mystery. We could do a whole arc around that. That's wonderful. Additionally, I could send secret coded messages to the object of my desires and let them know why <laughs> I'm the best choice, of course. Absolutely. And of course, every contestant, as you would expect, would need the word of God. <laughs> they are willing and needed to be married to this man. As you can see, I have been chosen. I alone carry the Ten Commandments of Love. <laughs> the first one, thou shalt not commit adultery. The second one, well, let's just wait until the show goes live, shall we? <laughs> now, you do have the uh, the word of God on your side, and that's very important. You know, we want to get of make course. sure we have a broad audience. We want to make sure that, you know, every demographic can... Uh, uh, can view our show and enjoy it. The However, Christian audience has been in need of a good role <laughs> absolutely. the show, I would say. Absolutely. Now, I do have uh, a bit of a question, something that you mentioned on your resume that uh, kind of, it, it almost conflicts a little bit. I want to hear more about what yes. you have to say about that. Uh, you did mention on your resume that you are the devil, but in Spanish. <laughs> well, you see, number one... El Diablo was my nickname in college, so please write this down. Okay, Number two, okay. God and I may not agree on, well, <laughs> all points here, but a friendly rivalry every now and then doesn't mean we can't trust each other, can we? Absolutely. Well, I will keep that in mind. Um, we, Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write you down on on the on the board here. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to confirm uh, with me? Mention before we move on to the next, uh, next, next, next one on the list. Oh goodness, no! I already know you're going to make the right choice, and if you don't, well, <laughs> burning sword, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Have a Threatened splendid day, Miss Baby. Me. Employee. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna move over on to Marble Cantus. Uh, Marble, uh, could you tell me 
what you uh, what you have to bring to the team, what you have to to do to date these hot hot men that we have on the show. Hi, hello. My name is Marble, and you know I really appreciate that that the uh, host of Bachelorette bachelors at this season mentioned that she was winging it because i'm always winging it <laughs> considering my <laughs> wings so at least we can relate on that front you know you know it's good that we understand each other um you may be wondering why i have wings and it is because i did bring up about uh the apocalypse because i am the antichrist so. oh interesting <laughs> so you've actually do are, are you and holly do you know each other are you related we <laughs> we've met some would say that due to holly's religious views and my uh ending the entire world views uh we we, we butt heads sometimes mm -hmm. okay you know? and i think that that would make for some interesting drama when the show begins but also i'm not telling anyone uh when i'm ending the world but uh it's coming soon oh i've so noticed if you want to like play up that angle uh, uh for the show you know that could really uh that could really uh, uh, boost the ratings, okay, you know. Like, okay. not only is is everything on fire and like and like uh, like f just lava falling out of the sky and acid rain and all that good stuff, um, but like also just like themed sort of like dating show. Can, yeah, people can tune in to their to their to their favorite TV show, The Bachelors at, and uh, they could see all of it happening live on 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 screen with the person who's causing it, and of course. <laughs> Since I am the Antichrist, I am, uh, of course, very, uh, I have to, I have a quota for, for being cooler than all of the other uh, uh, religious deities and such. So um, even though I do have wings, just like all the other ones, uh, I, I don't really use them because I do have a hoverboard that I, oh, that I just use instead. That's sick as fuck. Hey. Okay, so, so we've got, hey. Yeah. Sick. It comes. It comes in handy in the post-apocalypse. That's sick. That it's is super sick. fucking cool. Uh, That's sick. <laughs> somebody just said Jeff the Hawk in chat. Yes. Um, <laughs> That's it. So we've got Thank an interesting. Thank you for inviting me to the Bachelorette. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be a beautiful bride. <laughs> so we've got an interesting sort of you know dichotomy going on here. If we bring you onto the show, you know people will um they will want to vote you off naturally because of you know you're you you bringing about the apocalypse and all that, and yet they might be too afraid to because of your immense power. Um, there is one more thing I wanted to mention though. Um, I'm noticing here. Now, forgive me for saying this. Uh, I'm just, you know, it is part of the job. I need to make sure, I need to make sure that the uh, audience can can relate and is attracted to every member of the show. You know, everybody needs to be super hot and sexy. <laughs> of and, course. Um, you do seem to be a little saggy, just all <laughs> over the place. Your skin is just falling <laughs> apart. Um, care to care to elaborate on that? Well, you see. You see, it may appear that way because my flesh is made of lava. So it is constantly uh, uh, dripping and reforming. And yes, it, it it does appear to sag as molten lava often does. Uh, but I, I assure you that this can be a point in my favor in case, uh, in case literally anyone slights me in any way. Of course, yeah. I just worry that we might have to pay a little extra to the cleaning crew to, you know, sort of sweep up the, the molten chunks. But you know what? We'll work on that. You know, we, we, we have pros and cons here. Um, I'm going to mark you down and we're going to move on, all right? Thank you so much for the interview. Of course. Thank you for coming down. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> and next up we have uh, Penny Parker. Uh, uh, would you be able to tell us why you uh, should be here to just date all of these hot, hot men that you very much like? Oh, that's oh, that's me, right? Yeah, that's you. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, hold on. Okay. You're not very prepared uh, for this interview. <laughs> Uh, anyway, okay, let me just, sorry, I need to reposition myself here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a skeleton, and 
I don't know. To me, it's like, yeah, I'm a skeleton. <laughs> but like, what does that really mean? You know, part of me feels like I was kind of brought on into existence as like this sort of, uh, I don't know. I feel like an omen. <laughs> I feel like I'm an omen. You know, we got all this like world ending uh, uh, you know, all these world ending uh, personalities like coming together. It's like, oh, it's the end times. It's the end. Yeah, I'm, so I'm probably an omen, which is nice because I'm always going to keep things interesting, you know? <laughs> so like, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm like, you know, when it comes <laughs> When it comes to loving you, I know exactly what to do because I am a skeleton. <laughs> of course, whenever I think of skeletons, that's that's immediately what my I'm head doing, goes to. I'm doing a dance. Oh sh shit! Hold on, I dropped my. I dropped my. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so uh, sorry. I just I have I have this with me. I I I, I need it. So well, don't, you know I don't. I think in a lot of jobs that would be an issue, but you know, Bachelor, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a problem with the producers. Yeah, no, it's totally mm -hmm. cool. And here's the thing about it is that like it looks like I'm drinking like so much like shit, you know. Mm -hmm. But the best thing about it is that actually on me, um, it's not that bad. It's almost like I'm just drinking water because I actually brought a filter <laughs> with me that I use, and it's actually I got like one of them one of them filter cups that. It, uh, you know, so it's not bad. <laughs> All right. It's not bad for me. It's not bad for me. It's, it's not, not bad, bad for, for you. It's so, so, it sounds yeah. like it's pretty good for you. you. Sound like you're having a good time. Anyway, um, so I'm just like, mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. And I think I'm pretty sexy. Not going to lie. Um, and the audience does like really, folks. really fun trick. If you, if you, if you stick your hand through my pelvis. <laughs> Come out the other side. <laughs> it's really cool. You're not gonna get that with any of these other ones, and it's like no offense, but anyway, that is true. You know, there's a lot of interesting directions we could go with a skeleton on the show. Um, uh -huh. I do have one more thing I want to bring up, though. I'm a little worried about this. What's up? Um, What's you up? see, on the Bachelorette, you have to vote. I think I don't know how the show goes. I think you have to vote people away until you get your match or whatever or something, and. <sighs> Here's the thing I worry about is I'm worried with all those hot, hot men around those men. You know, I'm me, worried I that love you're just going to want to I'm worried that you're just going to want to have them all for yourself. You know, you're going to just take them all. You're just going to take them all. I got I got two words for you. Ambition. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem with a little bit of ambition? I don't think that I don't think that I don't think that wanting the world means that I shouldn't have it, you know? Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Um, all three of you, I think, have done a wonderful job. Um, Penny, you certainly have the attitude for the for, for the show. Um, we've got, hmm, let me just see. The word of God and a flaming cool-ass sword. Hmm. Some sick-ass wings and a hoverboard. Uh, the Antichrist himself. And hot damn. If we could just stick those wings and the sword together, that'd be cool. But, hey, you know, you can't. No perfect candidate. No perfect candidate. I borrow your sword for a second. Perhaps an alliance is in order. I gotta say, I think we're looking over the hand trick here. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. <laughs> I love the hand trick. I think I'm going to have to give this one to Marple. Congrats. Yay! You did the job. You can date Sick. all these hot men. Sick. Congratulations, Miss Cantus, <laughs> on your election to the Bachelorette, Miss Baby. That's sick. Hey, can I borrow your hoverboard? I will have a word with you later. Oh, yeah, 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 you can have it. I'm gonna be on oh, yeah. the Bachelor, so I'm gonna be able to afford unlimited hoverboards. <laughs> oh, well, that's uh. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> That's how it is now. It's just sideways. sideways. You're against the grain. You know, you're not like the other gals. God, I'm I'm gonna be real. I had no fucking clue how to play that. Like that was <laughs> that was the most nothing mismatched set of <laughs> cards. I could have that was some of the worst no, cards I've ever so seen. Good, but you did so I'm, good. I appreciate great. it because I honestly I didn't know what I was doing. I kind of was just like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You made it work. You made it work. I was like, is there bone rattling sounds on YouTube? <laughs> Turns out there was. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> all right, I'm gonna snag right. some cards. Let's let's go I, next. I um, had so many bad cards for my first couple draws, but the first one I drew was Flaming Sword, so I knew I was in. <laughs> Oh, oh man. Um, do you want to go counterclockwise? I can let's take go. Yeah, let's go counterclockwise. Right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Clock. Three for me. Wait, I took one too many cards. Oops. And then I also get three. Oh God. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, already oh, bad. Oh, this is some choices. I have. I have. But this is the card I'm putting in the bad pile. Oh. I just want to throw yeah, that out. Nope, goodbye. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> no thanks. What is my I. Oh, I mean, I don't. No, wait, no, actually, no, actually, this is these these three are really bad for the job card I just got. So oh, I'm no. literally putting all of them away. Uh, but I, I I I will just put them in the normal discard though, because they're not sure, bad in and of themselves. The it's just contextual. Oh yeah, sorry. That's it's okay. just contextually like I don't I don't <laughs> like them <laughs> for the, the job card. Fair. You'll see why if I mean. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so let me try more that's more like it that's oh, more like yeah. it there we go um no not good <laughs> <laughs> i i'm sorry i just i ha i have to be like actually like really mm -hmm. okay yeah this works cool i'm ready cool all righty i'm ready to go all right uh hello uh my name is uh penny parker i am lead uh, I'm 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 essentially the lead casting director for uh, Disney Channel, uh, and we are looking <laughs> for some new child actors to uh, exploit and uh, you know ruin. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so yeah, I uh, we have some candidates here, and I am uh, extremely excited to hear what y'all have to offer. Uh, and uh, yeah, so why don't we uh, start? with uh sophie let's start with you and go clockwise around hell yeah my friend my name is sophie baby welcome to the channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe you see i'm a youtuber i've been on the show for so long you are you can't go wrong with putting me on disney channel i got acting experience i got viral a couple of times i got oh, so many videos out wow there. that's good it's a good start oh yeah i people know me you're gonna get that star power i'm the perfect kid they're gonna see me they're gonna go on to disneychannel.com they're gonna see me on the show they're gonna go whoa that's sophie baby but here's the thing you know i i, I talk a lot of good stuff about me but i think i think you know, on the inside, on the inside, we've all got room to grow. We can all get better. <laughs> Down I'm to earth. Good. I like it. Yeah, no, but you know what? I like it. You know, kids these days are looking for somebody they can connect to. You know, I only, I only shoplift sometimes. I can work on that, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> exactly. I can shoplift more. And see, you know, we're, 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 we're all, we're all, I'm, I'm just, I'm a perfect candidate. You took the job away. You get the job. <laughs> <laughs> No, more. you're the child actor now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but on top of all this, you know, I, I I don't really care for myself all too much. Truthfully, I put on a, oh, no. I put on a show for the channel, and you know, but the nice thing about that so is, I mean, you, I'm going to be working you for believe, Disney. You so you believe it's yourself. You believe yourself to have room to grow to a fault. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, but you know what? I, that's honestly just speed running things. I mean, I'm going to be working for Disney. So, like, we're just skipping a step. Oh, no! No, yeah. Yeah, no, I... Mm -hmm. You know what? This is all extremely good. Uh, you you make you make a good canvas for our, uh, for our <laughs> entertainment monopoly to paint upon. So, uh... Yeah, I, I yeah, we will definitely consider you for the position. Uh, why don't we go next down the list, uh, Holly? Hello, my name's Holly, and I'm five. I'm really excited you give me the opportunity to be on your show for kids. Mm -hmm. I think I have a lot I can bring to the table for our little show all about the five senses. For instance... I bring red traffic light. We learn all about how you see all kinds of things when you're walking on the street. Look out, there's a red one. That means stop. We could teach all kinds of good lessons to all the kids like me. That's, that's great. You know, not a lot of people know that, that red means stop. I think there's more though to the five senses than just sight. 
We got smell. I bring scented <laughs> candles. I know Disney's got that secret R and D money. We can use it for smell of vision. I can show the children all kinds of scents I love, like mold grass and lavender and smell of car accident you avoided because you stopped at the red light. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is a great proposition for a show you've got, and I think I'd be a great fit. But most of all, what I brought with me, active camouflage suit, so that I can hide from all the evils of capitalism <laughs> that will ruin my life once the show is done airing. <laughs> <laughs> well, and 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 you know, al- along the along the 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 color tone, uh, actually, it uh, it it works out that camouflage is a combination of many colors that we could uh, we could study so and learn more about. Also, I have just realized I totally forgot Sophie to give you a modifier card, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna hold that off for everybody sure, this sure, round, sure. and then yeah, fix that next time. That's just okay. for fairness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. A lot of interesting, uh, a lot of interesting potential here. Um, I think I'd be a great fit for your network. I've seen all your programming. I know all, all of the, about all of it? Your, Oh, seven of them. I'm an expert. I think I would be so great at fitting with the current lineup and helping children discover the world around them. <laughs> Well, you, well, you're definitely in consideration. I got to say, you brought a lot of good stuff to the table. But let's go down the list uh, a little bit further. Uh, we got one more applicant today. Uh, I'm really excited to hear from uh, Marvel. Why don't you let us know what you got going on? What, what's what's Oi what there. You brought- My name's Hi. Marvel. It's like we all say in the outback. It's important for a child <laughs> actor to have an Australian accent. That's all that's your best wonderful. child actors did, such as uh, Dylan Cole Sprouse. Both of them Australian accents. That's why mm-hmm. people remember them. That's why they love them so much. Right? You know that's exactly why. As an adorable child actor like myself, I also have braces. I feel like audiences <laughs> will definitely be able to connect to that I, on an emotional again, level. I love that. I love this continuing theme of down to earth, realistic. These are these are people that kids can see themselves in. I like it. Keep going. <laughs> now, potentially, I would like to uh, sort of inform you that I am twelve years old, which, as you know, uh, the age of stagnation for child actors is is thirteen. We, so uh, normally that would be a downside, but I only have six months <laughs> left to live. <laughs> So mm. when I'm out of your hair, I'm out of your hair. <laughs> um. Well, these are all uh, very <laughs> wonderful qualities. Um, I I gotta say, this is a hard one. I gotta say, this is a real hard one. Um, y'all have brought uh, a lot of a lot of stuff to the table here. A lot of uh, a lot of you know. And here's the thing: if if this were a perfect world, I'd hire all of you. Like I think all of you, can make you can make it literally. You can make it literally anywhere. Um, except two of you cannot make it here. Um, I think I, I, I'm just thinking, I really love Sophie. I love the angle you're playing with your, your previous experience with, uh, virality. Um, I love, I love the fact that you have, uh, some sort of established presence and you have that sort of like self-criticism, irony vibes to your act that like really, really resonate with the kids today. I think I'm going to have to give it to you. Uh, uh, Marble, I wish you luck, <laughs> and Holly, uh, maybe Disney Junior. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this hey, is that's epic. all right. In six months, it won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> My lawyers will be in touch with you shortly. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Oh um, my God, Holly, Nanolin. Yeah, <laughs> I was. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> Finally, 300. 
years if, of 9 11 are paying off. <laughs> if that if that wasn't supposed to be anything specific, I wasn't gonna be rude. <laughs> but like, also, that makes so much sense now. Also. <laughs> oh my god, I got the best combination of cards in the oh, entire god, universe. I, I, oh let's no, Marvel, go. your jobs. All right. Oh good, good, what? good. You can. Okay, I can't. Thought, oh thank nope. god. Okay, cool. How do you, oh my god. Yes. Oh, I'm so rotate excited. these cards Perfect again. Combination uh, mouse of field. everything. Huh? Oh, no. Mouse field to rotate. Oh. Well, this is going to go well. This is going to okay. go well. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm really worried about that. Um, all right. Let me, uh, a blop, a blop, a blop. So, um, hi. Um, I'm really glad that I, I, I got you all in, you know, when you put, when you put an ad for something like this in the paper, you don't really think that people are going to reply to it. But, you know, people <laughs> replied to it. And and I, that, I just think that that's fantastic. I just think that that's wonderful. I just think that that's just so amazing that that happened, that, that people replied to that ad that I put out. And people are going to uh, uh, interview for this position because we are, let me tell you, we are in dire need of a pimp. <laughs> 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 really oh, my just god. oh my god oh my god <laughs> just we just really need a <laughs> chat knows what's happening really need a pimp around the office uh, <laughs> so uh without further ado um let's see let's see who we got on the list here um okay um okay all right uh, Penny, would you like to would you like to start us off and sort of tell <laughs> tell me a little bit about your qualifications to be a pimp? <laughs> yeah, I got I got plenty of qualifications. I'll tell you all about my qualifications. So I got three of them, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a real fun time talking about them. Uh, so you know, I I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Pimps got the look, you know. We got like the vibes. We need like the cool like we need. We need the jewelry, and I got that in spades. I got a gold cross right here that I've brought <laughs> to the interview uh, around my neck, as you can see right here. Um, and I actually got this uh, a while back when I uh, when I used my time machine to go back in time and uh, hunt vampires with Van Helsing, uh, and it was it was a great time actually used. So this has been used as like a like a weapon. It's been used as like a weapon, this gold cross. So like, you know, I essentially I'm just saying I'm not afraid to get like I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty if, if need be. Uh, because I fought vampires <laughs> with Van Helsing with my gold cross. Uh so you know, uh ultimately uh I also got a lot of I got a lot of uh I got a lot of uh pulled myself up by my bootstraps energy. I'm able to figure things out if I need to because this time machine, yeah, it came with instructions, but I can't fucking read. Call me Jared. <laughs> I couldn't. So, like, I had to literally had to get in there, get into the wiring, get into the interface, and just like figure it out as I went. So, uh, you know, that's uh, I yeah, I'm just like I'm just like a really resourceful person with a gold cross that I've used to kill vampires. Well, I think that's really amazing. I also I do... do still have the time machine. I think that's like a really big <laughs> thing is that I can use it for all, any of our needs. Like yeah, this, yeah. this could essentially be the company time machine. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it would be great if, you know, whenever our company's uh, copier machine broke, if you could just go back and grab the old one before it broke. That that would just be fantastic. It'd exactly, be great. Exactly. You seem like a wonderful pimp for our office. <laughs> um, now I will give you some leeway here because I understand that you can't read, but uh, I am going to have to ask you to put that out. <laughs> right, <laughs> could, right. You, you know, it actually. That please. Sorry, yeah, no, that is my bad. You know, it comes with also not being able to read the room. So <laughs> like. like just... <laughs> <laughs> all right i got it sorry all right all right thank you very much that you've, you've given me a lot to consider here um sophie uh if you could please step back into my office i i'd uh i'd love to get this interview process started uh, oh, yeah. uh what what do you bring to the table uh uh to be sort of an office pimp and, well, uh, and yeah. the first things first uh thank you uh gpm for the 50 person <laughs> right i appreciate that um <laughs> 
So, I, I think, I, first things first, I gotta let you know. Um, I am, uh, I have a, a day job. I, I can only be a part-time. <laughs> um, and so, uh, but I, I, hear me out though, before you, before you, uh, uh, uh <laughs> kick me out, because my day job ties into it, okay? You see, I'm a okay. dog walker. Okay. Okay. That means I have, uh, you know, a utility built with with many uh, uh, things I can use with it. I, I have um, plenty of collars, um, leashes. Uh, uh, I've got I've got like little harnesses. I think they could fit some okay. of the smaller All right, those girls. Those will definitely be important. Yeah. yeah, I've even got treats that I can give them when they're, when they're being good. <laughs> that positive reinforcement is uh is is uh, certainly important absolutely um, i think you know i think the girls will really like it you know yeah absolutely so um well what kind of treats you got can i have one of those yeah yeah they're like they're <laughs> scooby snacks you want one you holy <laughs> shit yes 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 i love scooby snacks <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh I, I think it uh it should be fair to say that uh you know with with the recruitment process we do have to do quite a bit of screening before we bring people in for an interview itself so I do need to ask you about your secret identity uh, <laughs> sort of what exactly you're hiding from us right now yeah well um you see the thing about that with my utility belt um I might have lied just a little bit I guess the jury's out uh. I'm I'm Rob I'm Batman's sidekick I'm Robin. You do oh. still have the Scooby snacks though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, do you not I have do, those? I, the do you Scooby lie about that no, shit? No, no, Batman likes to eat the Scooby snacks. But yeah, no, it's <laughs> who would have fucking known? Who would have known? I wouldn't have. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Super, yeah. Well, oh, okay. It's hard to imagine uh, Batman's Robin as a as a pimp, but I feel like all of your other qualifications seem to be in order. Um, so with that, that's going to conclude our our time together, Sophie. And then I'll, you could just have a seat, and I'll let you know if you uh, if you got the job in just a moment here. But until then, uh, Holly, if you could come back into my office, I'd uh, like to uh, like to talk to you about uh, oh, if you want to be a pimp for our office. First of all, the great HP Hollow Tones is honored to be here tonight for this interview. I see you're in the field looking for an office pimp, and I am more than happy to provide. You see, a pimp needs to be many things. Big city hustling's one of them. You gotta be a face. You gotta be walking the streets. But I ain't and afraid to the go dog. to the seedy underbelly and get dirty, because I am slimy. I am <laughs> I ain't down low with the rotten folk and see what's going on and i have a thick viscous layer of mucus and slime to protect <laughs> you from all manner of blunt weapons second of all i got cavities i got <laughs> for days and my dentist he's always telling me hp holotones you ain't gonna amount to nothing if you got poor dental hygiene well look at me now you need me to smuggle secrets from office to office i just hide them in my teeth i got them big old holes in my molars we can keep <laughs> typeface 37 <laughs> aerial bold documents oh my God. There, and the slime keeps them safe from my saliva Third of all, yeah. <laughs> need I say more? <laughs> I think you'll find I am fully qualified. Now, I do. I do have to say I have noted a lot of your prior experience. Um, mm -hmm. uh, also, you know, during your background check, uh, it came up that you have a lot of experience with bitches. Could you tell me a little <laughs> bit more about that? Well. This ain't my first rodeo in the pimping industry, I tell you that much. I have an illustrious career and many clients who will vouch for me. <laughs> okay. Business is boom. I have experience with bitches like too. Business to boom. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this, I respect you, but goddamn, the room is just so much wetter just by having you like in it. <laughs> Take a lick. Um, it's cherry flavored. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, oh my goodness, that is cherry. Flavored. I got my Scooby snacks. Do I How got my incredible. Scooby snacks? Try dipping them snacks in there. 
All right, let me let me think. Let me. This is a toughie. This is a toughie. You guys gotta say, got a lot of qualified candidates to be the office pimp here today. Uh, hmm. Oh, this is just <laughs> this is just a this is just a whole conundrum. Hang on, just one second. Um, oh, goodness gracious, I think I'm gonna have to. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to recruit you, Holly. It seems yeah. that you have a lot to offer to this company in terms of. Uh, uh, is is pimpage the right word? Is that it's the right an, thing to I say think that's here? The, I think that's the right word. Here, Miss Candice, and yes, that is the correct verbiage. To my <laughs> other fine ladies, good luck out there, pimping. I'm there. not. I'm not too beat up about it because, like, I can just get in my time machine and try this shit again. <laughs> <It's really not laughs> Hell yeah. God, okay, oh no. God. The secret identity card was wild because the two things, jokes I was going between were dog walker and literally like sidekick, superhero yeah. sidekick. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> when, oh, I picked up, when I picked up bitches and then pimp, I was like, oh my God, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. God. The stars have aligned. <laughs> I, I I got this snatch card and I couldn't decide. Okay, do I go for the Robin joke or do I go for the other thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I got the weirdest set of cards ever. Okay. Oh, I gotta take. Oh, my I should look at my cards. <laughs> okay, job card for Holly. And... Okay, this is this is this is my card right here. So I'm gonna move this. Oh. <laughs> Pop. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Is everyone ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies, thank you very much for attending this job interview today. We're all honored to have you here for America's number one superhero registration. Now, let's start. With you, Ms. Baby, why are you qualified to become <laughs> Metro City's number one hero? <laughs> I'm here to defend Metrocity from from bad guys, you see. Are we on, is this the heroes or the, this is superhero. Sorry, yeah, we're from the bad right. guys, that's the one. And now, uh, uh, I, I, uh, I believe I deserve this 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 job because you see I am very Everyone powerful. Everyone thinks they do. No, but I'm more powerful, you see, because I have been genetically engineered by top Amazing. scientists. Yes, I have I have big muscles and and well, you see they weren't the top scientists. They were well, you know, they didn't do the greatest job. I've got a comb over. I'm going to Sorry, bars. I didn't hear that. I'm slowly falling apart. You see, when they made me the the the, the meat. It was kind of gross, and so I'm kind of... My hair's falling out, but it's fine! Because I got a secret laboratory, I've, or I mean, that's villains. I got a... Cave! <clears throat> I got the secret sanctum... In my shed. Amazing! No one ever thinks to look in the shed! <laughs> I think I could, you know, I think I could... I could beat crime very good, I could... I... You know, the meat's kind of gross, but I probably scare away the criminals. Madam, your super strength is to be amazed at, and your strange physique will certainly scare off lesser villains, but I must say, the, num the numerous cracks lining your body make me worry about your physical fortitude. <laughs> oh god, I inhaled spit. Hold on. <clears throat> Well, you see, it's kind of a glass cannon sort of build. I mean, ah! yes, I'm very strong, but, you know, they, I get flicked and I'm just kind of, oh, no. High strength, low resistance. I like it. Thank you very much for your time today. Yes. Ms. Parker, please step <laughs> forward. Why do you believe you are next up to be Metrocity's greatest hero? Uh, well, I, um... I honestly, I don't, here's, here's the thing, I actually, well, I just want to get up front here, just in front of everything, all the, in front of all the fucking accusations and all the, he said, she said, <laughs> um, Miss, Miss Baby here was actually one of my experiments. <laughs> ah, I've read your dossier. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I mean, like, I can make more, I'm actually, 
so yeah that's like my whole thing is that i'm actually i'm really good i have a laboratory it's actually my shed uh <laughs> in which that laboratory is and uh, i create uh all kinds of monstrosity i mean uh uh creatures i mean heroes uh that can help uh defend the city um and uh honestly it all i, I have the tragic backstory to go with it um because really the whole reason i started uh dealing uh in experimentation and and genetic uh alteration and like uh you know just creating life from nothing as you do uh is because i'm just so utterly alone oh, i'm sorry I, really, hear that. <laughs> I mean i say that it's not like anybody would even care you know <laughs> like I, I, i'm hurt yeah well <laughs> Yeah, way to way to take the pain from me, huh? Way to way to make this about yourself, anyway. I must say, attitude aside, your prospect as a superhero vendor is interesting and could be very useful to the people of the city. Is that you know what? Like, what's the point of hiring one hero when you can have someone like me who can just create them in an instant? One no. thing that concerns me, however, is your expression is entirely unreadable. How do I know I can trust you? Wow, I mean... <laughs> way, to, way to be a welcoming work environment. Thank I appreciate you! That. I it's do just, my best! It's just kind of my face. I mean, I don't really have much to be necessarily excited or surprised about. I'm a genius. I... I, I know everything that's coming. I've been through every situation, hypothetically and otherwise, in my experiments. And honestly, I feel like that makes me the most prepared. Just because I'm not reacting to things in real time doesn't mean I don't fucking feel. Very interesting. We will consider your application along with the others. Thank you, Ms. Parker. Ms. Cantus, it is your turn amongst the ring of heroes where we will judge whether you are worthy or not to be Matrocity's next great hero. What do you bring to the table? Hello! <laughs> Jesus <Welcome>. Christ. <laughs> Sorry, let me step out of this cave really quick. <laughs> yeah, why don't you... Wait, hey, could you be any louder? Could I? I... <laughs> As you know, all heroes must have jacked forearms as oh, I do to accentuate my super strength and of Impressive. course <laughs> of course a genetically modified six pack <laughs> capable, of capable of deflecting even the, the, the largest of mortar shells and as the Marvel Cinematic Universe has taught us to be a great superhero you must also be part of the one percent <laughs> Which I am. <laughs> Your funding Jeez. could do great work for the people of Matrocity. I'm very impressed by your qualifications. Your physique is unprecedented and your financial and physical power to be amazed at. But one thing concerns me. I've looked at your records. Yeah. I could find no trace of your mansions, your yachts, your grand parties. All I could find was this minivan I saw you living in last <laughs> night! <laughs> it just so happens that I won the lottery yesterday! <laughs> Unprecedented, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> I just started building my superhero secret lab underground! It's uh, It may be right next to another one, but we're, we're currently working on the excavation plan. We'll, we'll get it figured out. It's my You're land, you can't build there. And I appreciate that, but I do ask that you be careful around the shed. <laughs> okay. God knows what could be unleashed if anything happens to the shed. <laughs> Ladies, you've all given me much to consider today, and unfortunately, only one may win. So, it is with a heavy heart I must announce Matrocity's newest superhero is... Jerry, can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Matrocity's newest superhero is... 
<laughs> your genetic super strength, combined with your intimidating physique, will keep the streets of Mastrosity clean for years to come. But please, get some plaster for that body. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Holly, I love how you were just in a constant state of cutting, or not cutting, of, of clipping your mic. <laughs> It was perfect. It was. It was. It was. It was so good. Sorry. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> that was fun. It was. Hell yeah, we did a full round. Yeah. We did a full full run around the thing. We did. We're back to the beginning. Pop pop pop. <laughs> How's your throat, Holly? Uh, that actually isn't terribly strenuous on my throat. It's that is entirely coming. A breath. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You're cutting out a little bit. I think your mic couldn't handle the intensity. Oh no, no. That this might just be my internet. It does <clears> oh sometimes. shit, that's right. Okay. okay. Is your so are you like Coach Boomer from from the Sky High? You that super dear watcher is for you to decide. Sound like the SpongeBob announcer. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I like these cards. <laughs> Okay, is everybody ready? I I'm oh. getting like the fucking weirdest cards, like that just like don't yeah. I just don't have anything yeah. to do with like I got, most I got those, of that my last cards. round. That last round was pretty weird. I had to. <laughs> I'm yeah. glad that ours kind of came together. Like yeah, that. I was that was that was fun when you mm -hmm. when you mentioned genetic alteration. I was like hell yeah, I get to play off <laughs> of this one. I'm glad they all got to tie <laughs> into each other at the end. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Welcome, ladies, princesses. We are looking for a new queen of the land. Please set your shoes to the side. Let the butlers take your coats. We are part of the monarchy, but we're but we're electing. It's it's the new fashion. It's the new it's the new fad. The the uh the bloodline queen. She she died. It sucks. <laughs> oh. <dear. laughs> I don't. I, I was never a fan, but we're going to pick the queen. So we're going to go to, around the table. Um, uh, and Penelope, would you please tell us why you are fit to be royalty to 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 rule over the country of Canada? <laughs> right. Uh. Right. Okay. So. Uh. My name is. Uh. Hey. Uh. So I actually came hey, here with a, a fake weird name. name. Um. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not actually. I. I. I came here with a fake name. Uh, because I, I just, I really needed to get in unseen. Uh, hi, my name is, uh, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, you might know me from <laughs> movies such as, uh, Jumanji, uh, The Next Level, uh, and, uh, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I'm here because, like, I, I really, I really want to be queen. <laughs> um, course, specifically... Dwayne. Because I'm actually um I uh, I'm I'm doing this role where I, I I play the role of a of a student in college, uh just like a really jacked, sexy, really funny and charming student in college, um, and uh like my my favorite thing about the role is that I get to you know I get to method act a little bit I get to put myself into the uh, into the mindset of a college student and so what I'm thinking is. Uh, I'm, I'll I'll try and you know I'll just be queen for some extra credit, uh, you know. <laughs> so I I saw this application was open and I thought what what better way to get extra credit for my fake brain college glasses <laughs> than becoming a real queen? Uh, and uh, I'm just really excited about the potential here. Uh, I I you know honestly this uh, this this college life has me uh, living in some pretty tight quarters. Uh, I'm not living the most uh, comfortable life, uh, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, ultimately, I just think it'd be a big upgrade. I think it would really put me into character more if I could get that extra credit, <laughs> and, and you know, just uh, you know, just improve my my act. Don't y'all want to see some good movies, <laughs> right? So, yeah. All right. Uh, of course, of course, Miss Johnson. I'm very, I'm very excited. You know, we typically only uh, uh, apply, uh, allow princesses to apply, but uh, you, you were in that movie, The Tooth Fairy. I, I was believe... Tooth Fairy. Yeah, most yes. princessy I've ever been. Yes, I think that. I also had that that, uh, that brief role in uh, uh, the Game Plan. I think that was the one where I, uh, I, I did some did some ballet on stage. So like, I got the elegance, you know. Exactly. I'm a big fan, 
Miss Johnson. Now, I do have a question uh, for your movies. I've noticed uh, they they the Hollywood. They typically have you, you know, take care of your physical appearance. Um, you mentioned that you are shaved uh, on your resume. I wish to uh, to to question how this will help you with your with your uh, royal duties. Well, I mean, I mean, you got to keep yourself presentable. Ultimately, you know, I get up, I, I get up on on screen, on stage, whatever queens do, uh, and uh, you know, don't they don't want is. they don't want to see they don't want to see all of that, you know. So I walk up there, uh, I'm all shaved, I'm all fresh, and I'm just like, hey, what can I say except you're welcome. That, ooh, that's the that's the life of frozen, yes. <laughs> Uh, I do, I do want to know. Do, is it part of the role that they had you shave your eyebrows? If I say yes, will you believe me? Yes. Yes. Oh, very good. Cool. Right, we're going to move down the the the, the, uh, the table here. Um, Marble Cantus the sixty fourth. Uh, uh, could you please tell me what you uh, have to bring to the table, the royal table, or oh, the round table, if you will? It's a little bit of a royal humor for you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Uh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. I'm going to need you to start over. This is okay. So this is like I'm going to be queen, right? If I like if I like pass all the tests and whatnot. Yeah, well, there's many um, tests. Yes. You have to you have to pass the interview process first. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I think um I do think uh hmm well, you see one of my many talents is um, well, you know that song, uh, and I've been able to do this from a very young age. You know that song where they're like, "I could ride my bike with no handlebars." Yeah, I love well, that one. By Queen. When I yes. was when I was very young, I learned um, I can ride a bike with handlebars. Mm. So, <laughs> sort of like a sort of like a special talent, something that people will be able to sort of like look at when they're like. Oh my god, that's the queen. What is she doing? Riding a bike? Does it have handlebars? Oh my god, it does. Whoa. You know, like just sort of like just sort of something to wow the masses, you know, you know, keep them happy, all that good stuff. Um and also, you know, I'm I'm always going to be alert and um <laughs> unless I'm <laughs> unless I'm high, of course. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> Which I am not for this interview, I promise. Um, but uh, you know, nothing's gonna get past me. You know, like no, no secret queen assassins or anything, because we all know that's what happened. To Naturally, the last that's how the last queen. Yeah, yeah, because I have night terrors, oh. so <laughs> and I'll karate chop them so hard they die. Mm -hmm. So interesting. So I'll be fine. You know, I'm a queen. That <laughs> gonna last a really long time well now i do have some worries here you see I, the queen needs to be very regal very 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 you know very rich and such and you 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 worry me a little bit you see uh, Ms. johnson <laughs> over there is quite rich but you are riding a bicycle and smoking dirt weed and i just have a question i, I, also I never said i did that <laughs> but i've noticed i also noticed that you have some some boxed wine with you we only have especially aged wine here you're you're giving off some very mm, peasantly vibes well i i was trying to be nice you know like i I figured if I bring like some some wine to an interview, especially to be queen, that's like that's like all the way fancy, you know. Um, and technically, I am a princess, which is sort of you know the reason for the interview. Uh, <laughs> it's just <laughs> maybe of a a bit more derelict kingdom with a little bit more uh, uh, weed than this one <laughs> tends to have. Not that I smoke any, which I don't. Um, but yeah, do you, I mean, California. do you want, do you want, do you want some box wine? Cause I could like 
Oh no, I never touched the stuff. We're going uh, to move on, Princess Marble <laughs> Bluntness. Uh, over to, uh, let's see here, uh, Holly Hollow Tones, the 69th. Uh, oh, yes, that, that's me. Hello. Yes, uh, uh, tell me, what, what brings you here to be uh, uh, the, the queen of this land of Canada? First, first of all, it's an honor to, to be here. I, 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 I've always dreamed of being the queen. Um, I, I take it you've you've read my 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 CV and gone over my qualifications. I, I think you'll find everything is in order. I'm I'm followed around by forest creatures that love listening to my songs in the morning and. <laughs> Um, back to back to the point, please. Uh, the, oh, the... I'm, I'm sorry. I was, course, I, was I was communicating with Joey. He's the cutest little swallow you've How ever goodness. seen. You see, that's very good for a princess, but you know, in queens, typically they are no longer. I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I said that's very good for a princess, but typically queens are are not, you know, interfering with with the animal kingdom. It's dirty. Oh, that's a, that's a princess job. I'm worried that if we promote you to queen, you just won't be up to it. Well, well I, I, I do promise there is, of course, much more than that. For instance, I come with my own soundproof room so that oh, all trees can be dealt with violently and suddenly without <laughs> anyone ever noticing. Additionally, I have my own fairy grandmother who can grant my <laughs> any and every wish with the flick of a wand. I can have beautiful balls and piles of gold and treasure. And I could have, oh, the most beautiful gowns you ever did see for anyone to wear. But only if they're deserving, of course. Of course. Well, ma'am, we're rich. We, we own the government. We, we are the government. You, you, your, your magic can do some things, but we're already rich. You know, I'm quite worried. You see, a gamer queen with ADHD, I... I, I... I, I, I worry that when that uh, again with the, with all of this, it's not very princess like. Um, one yes. more thing that worries me is you know you know you you need to be in public. You need to hear from the, from the commoners, and you are deaf in one ear. You mentioned this on your resume. I'm sorry, I was looking over at Joey again. Could you hear that? My could my hearing in the left ear is it's not so great nowadays. Okay, well we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> and this right. job, of course, thank you. I don't believe this is much of a competition, uh, Ms. Johnson. This goes to you. <laughs> hey, um, thank you so much. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the best queen you've ever seen for like as long as I am filming this role. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, have um, you, my also, agents come I'm... in contact with yours. Hey, thanks so much. I'm gonna have to. I have to. I have to step away for a little bit, really okay. a few minutes. Uh, just go on, do rounds without me until okay. I'm back. Um, excuse right. me, fairy grandmother. Yes, there's a Canadian recruiter we need to bring to the soundproof room. Yes, I'll bring the mic. It's okay. <laughs> there we go. Also, yeah, chat, y'all notice I, I wasn't trying to steal your jokes. I was, I was, I was referencing them because I can't talk to chat while people are doing bits. <laughs> All right, uh, Marble, I think you're next. You're the next job lady. Okie dokie. Oh, no. Oh, not much different from the last one. No. Hmm. Uh, hi. Uh, how 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 are y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, as you know, uh, our power was recently um usurped. Uh, and uh, yeah, we we sort of have a whole like a whole like coup plan. We're gonna like take 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 over again. You know, there's this big power vacuum that we need to fill. So, uh, kind of looking for a dictator here. Uh, we just we just need somebody who can just like control everything and everyone, and you know like manage dissidents and all that good stuff. So, um, uh, Sophie, let's start with you. Uh, what what do you bring to the table as a dictator? Well, you see, I know how to tell people what they gotta do. You see me. I'm a movie star. I'm a hot mess. I got a private chin. I'm used to this sort of thing. I'm used to telling people, "Hey, you, get over there. Give me a coffee." It's my thing, all right. I, I know how to boss people around. Pretty sure that's what dictators do. I, it's you know, I, it's pretty easy. Like like you know, I, I'm 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 the center of attention. I'm 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 the cream of the crop. And I, let me tell you, I'm gonna be a good dictator. I tell them I tell them to get me a coffee. I tell them to I tell them to get me a a French fry. 
It'll be perfect. That's pretty much a dictatorship, yeah, right there. Uh, now, here's the thing. I got a confession to tell you. Uh, one more thing is, you know, I ain't, I gotta be honest. I ain't, I ain't done no dictatoring before. Uh, um, uh, I, you know, I, my private jet, I'm flying around. Uh, I've seen dictatorships, but I ain't never done one. I don't know if that's necessary under, under, under requirements there. I don't know if you need like, like hours in. I could do an internship for a little bit, become a dictator that way, uh, if you need, um, but I mean, look at these looks, though. I'm a hot mess. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna turn me down. <laughs> I mean, I I feel like I recognize you. Uh, you helped us uh, uh, with the coup on the ground because I recognize you more of a foot soldier type. Uh, you were <laughs> you were a grunt, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. I'm a scout TF two. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, not the first thing we look for when uh, electing a dictator, but you know, at least you got that sort of that that bloodthirsty experience. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. We'll get back to you in just a moment. It is so Holly. <laughs> Holly, as a dictator, what would you bring to the table? Well, there's quite a bit that I can bring to the table as a dictator of this land, you see. First of all, as I'm sure you can tell, my my stature, my voice, my manner of speaking, my physical build is not not terribly imposing. And, well, Sun Tzu always said, um, the, the most important thing is to trick your enemy and to make you thinking that you're something you're not. He definitely said, by, by the way, please don't go and read his books to verify, I promise you. Second of all, you see this big shiny metal hook? Well, anyone who thinks they can get close enough to me, oh, look at little Holly. She's so small. She's so quiet. She's so unimposing. <laughs> I can take their eyes right out, and I can take all sorts of things clean off their skin. Oh, this baby's seen a lot of business recently. <laughs> well, and there's, there's, there's more to just being a dictator than being bloodthirsty and ruthless. You've got to be bloodthirsty and ruthless as well. So you see, when I see someone else out there with land that I don't own, or when I see people out there that aren't under my iron fist, I can't stand it until I make them my own. <laughs> well, as you can see, I think I'm perfectly qualified for the job. Now, I do have some questions. Of course, uh, before, everyone before, always does. Yes, yes. So, you know, I, uh, I, I understand that uh, that you definitely, you definitely uh, can command some respect with your uh, admirable bloodthirst. Oh, of course. Um, but uh, a lot of our sources during our background check told us that you, you know, you tend to keep it loose. You know. Generally, generally not as commanding. I do, I do think it's important for a head of state or a head of anything, as it were, to know when to kick back, take it easy, crack open a cold one with the girls. You know, the hook is good for more than just impaling, you know. It's a oh great bottle opener. And, oh, I've got a great party trick I can show you once we've taken over the nearby states. But, of course, that is all hinging on my... Employment, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is. Um, okay. Well, hmm. I think, while I do fear for my own life by making this decision, I am going to, I think, give this one to Sophie. Uh, sorry, it's Scout TF2. It's Scout TF2 for the hey, dictator. Hey, can I get a bonky chat? Yes, the last part of piercing. I don't know what to do with that. So oh, yeah. Funny. Like my hook. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Holly, you'll, you'll Holly. hear from me again soon. Enough. A lot of bonks going on in the chat. Holly, I'm sure that you uh, enjoy being bloodthirsty, huh? Oh, you could tell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go again. Oh, hey! Okay, I'm so excited. One, two, three cards. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, mm. oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> oh, but that would have been so good. Oh, wow. <laughs> that good, huh? Folks, we are in for a treat tonight. Everyone ready? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, thank you all again so much for coming. I do realize it is on somewhat of a short notice that I've brought you all here today. But uh, desperate times call for desperate measures, as it were. And Well, you've read our personal ads in the paper. You've seen exactly what we're looking for. There was a tragic accident with our most recent LARPer, and I'm hoping we can find someone amongst you to fill the role <laughs> of uh, Saturnalian the Elf, as it were. Now then, me is a uh, sulfur baby, was it? Yeah, that's me. It's, it's Sophie, actually. Um, oh, hi, me. my name's Sophie. I'm not really, I haven't really done a lot of LARPing before. Um, but I think it'd be really good because not a lot of girls get to do it. And honestly, girl power, I think that... Yes, uh, uh, feminism is quite important. Yes, to, uh, uh, ab absolutely. You're making, you're making... Whoa, I'm losing accents. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm falling apart here. And that's okay because, you know what, I'm pretty indecisive on, uh, on you know, which accents I should use. I'm just completely falling apart here. Hold on. Let me... <laughs> gonna reboot that. That's all right. You show yourself you have a wide range of voices to pull from. Yeah, I do. The um, character of Saturnalia is famed for her critical indecision in moments of heated battle. <laughs> yeah, whatever that means. Anyways, I'm a calendar model, and, you know, I think all the boys, the sweaty boys, are going to like it when I get in there because I just, I my ass is popping, and I just, I think that, you know... LARPing gets a pretty bad rap, and I'm pretty sure if I was there, people would people would show up more. They'd like it more, you know? Awuga yes. and all that. Haha. <laughs> Miss Saturnalia was famed for her ample rump, so I do believe this Eps is perfect. Yeah. Oh my god. Also, um, I, I'm ambidextrous, and that's pretty, like, alien right there, right? I mean, lots of people <laughs> can't do that, so... Yeah. Modern man or dwarf lost the ability to use either hand many years ago. I see you've done your research. I can do this to do old sword, alien swords or something. Now, I, I am quite impressed by your repertoire, as it were. But one thing that does I don't concern know what that me, means. Oh, you will. Don't worry. One thing that does concern me, of course, is that Saturnalia was a vain spellcaster for the ages known for her ability to sling spells from wide across the open battlefield. And well, I've seen some of your YouTube videos and I've seen how you handle, well, any sort of thrown object or a gun, really. Yeah, well, that's because, well, I didn't, you know how I said I was ambidextrous? Um, yeah. it's more like <laughs> MB undextrous. I'm actually, I have, it's like I have two bad hands. I can't really use either uh. of them. Um, but that's okay because, like, um, have you seen my ass? Yes, of course. Who needs hands when you have an ass that won't quit? I understand. <laughs> <laughs> this thing spells with my cheek. Yes, of course. Thank you very much. We will consider you for the role of Saturnalia, the uh, ass romancer, as it were. Now, on to our next candidate, uh, Ms. I'm sorry, was this Marble Cactus? Yep, that's me. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm uh, very, very happy to be here. <laughs> as am I happy to have you here. I say, there's a bit of a draft or an echo in here, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Well, that's it's sort of something that follows me around. I, can't, I really can't explain it. Um, however, I do think that I have lot, a lot to bring to the table as a live-action role player. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, many, uh, many uh, live-action role-play campaigns are very limited in the way people uh, uh, choose to go about them. You know, they always have your standard swords and axes and shields and everything. Of course, but like follow the archetypes, but there is always a demand for more and other. Exactly. You see, I'm bringing something new to the table. A brick. So, <laughs> my weapon of choice 
in my in in any in any live action role playing campaign has to be the brick. It's the best one. An improvised weapon is always a big hit with the fans. It shows you're willing to do anything to meet your goals. I do believe, although Saturnalia was known as a spellcaster, I do believe a brick can be worked in just fine to the spell of brick. (laughs) And lastly, um, well, I mean, I honestly, I don't think I have to tell you the last thing because I I already know that I kind of got this in the bag, you know? Like, I mean, let's be real. I definitely, you know, I worked hard. I put the work in. I deserve this. Of course. I have read your repertoire. I am quite impressed. You have years of experience in the LARPing community and several accolades under your belt, I must say. (laughs) If, If you are not overqualified for the job, you are certainly regular qualified, but... One thing that does concern me is Saturnalia the Elf was known as always for her gentle, soothing voice, and well, your voice concerns me. (laughs) Does it? I don't sound like an enchanting elf princess. Mm, The jury's out on this one. (laughs) Is the speech impediment that I sound like I'm in a cave all the time? (laughs) I see you've noticed. It's always good to be aware of one's limitations. Exactly. I think that I can make it work despite that. Um, Honestly, if you sell it, it can be very endearing to the character. Just remember that. Well, I will say that Grimshaw the dwarf is supposed to be a dwarf, and he is currently played by a nine-foot-tall bodybuilder, so we are willing to work with what we have, I must admit. Thank you very much for the interview. We no. will be in touch with Thank you. you. Ah, you honor me. Now, I do see we have one latecomer who has come to the stage. Uh, this is a Miss... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I do hope I'm reading this right. Is this a Miss Penny Piker? Yeah, sorry. I was uh, I was out... Uh, I, I'm a school teacher. Of course. And uh, I was out taking taking my fifth graders to recess. (laughs) Wonderful. It's important that you show initiative with your other lines of work. This is, after all, a hobby performance more than anything. It shows you have dedication. Yeah, I'm I'm a multitasking queen. I can do, like, so many things at once. Um, Even even when you're as moist as I am, just all over. Uh, uh, you know, nothing, nothing slips out of my fingers. I have just course. like a wonderful grip of, of everything. And, uh, you know what, that's going to transfer into having a wonderful uh, grip on this role. And I think ultimately I'm going to understand the role of Saturnalia, like better than anybody, because like Saturnalia, like any good c- developed three-dimensional growing character, I too have room to grow. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that I can really like pull from that, um, in, in my performance. And I just think that that's really important. Yes, it's always, it is always a good sign to see someone willing to admit they are not perfect, that they are always striving to improve themselves. And of course, I see you have done your research beforehand. You know, not only that Saturnalia was a genius, famous for handling multiple mathematical calculations at once, but also that she was known for her perspiration. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, I got that on lock. I am, yes, of course. It is always impressive to see someone who fits the role to a T, and I must say I am quite impressed with your dedication to the role and your promise of great things to come, but I must say... I've read your backstory, madam, and I wonder if this is going to impact your ability to play the role. (laughs) I mean, if by impact you mean influence and nourish and, uh, you know, like, it's just, I'm going to be so good at it. Like, I can pull from the pain that Saturnalia felt in issue 33 when uh, she too was uh left behind to be uh to 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 be at the mercy of her father's meat grinder um <laughs> out in the woods and i you know i just like i i really related to that and i think that ultimately 
you want somebody who's going to be able to pull from experience. Cause like, if I can cry, like you want somebody, you want Saturnalia to cry in a particularly like touching scene. I can do that. Ms. Parker, do you need a hanky perhaps? <laughs> no. Now <laughs> my therapists have warned me to tell you that you do need to let go. The meat grinder accident wasn't your. <laughs> it is encouraging news as it were it's always good to know that people can pull from past mistakes and turn them into progress I, uh, I'll need some time to think about this uh, all of the candidates today have been quite impressive I will admit hmm, I must meet with the council there's Romulus the dwarf there's Giganto the other dwarf there's Max the human I'll just call them on my cell phone. Yeah, actually, there's mind. not Max the Human. I've, I gotta go get some lunch. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Max, you are fired. I do hate to tell you. Fuck, people, not again. <laughs> people play humans when they roleplay? <laughs> not anymore, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> We've finally been rid of this growth on, <laughs> on our, <laughs> our sacred group. The Tate has been expanded. This fucking ulcer of high fantasy. <laughs> and at last, our company can thrive. Now, this is quite a difficult decision. I do admit all of you are quite qualified for the role. But ultimately, I must give the role to Ms. Parker. Thank you so much. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for giving myself a title. <laughs> I was trying to stack the cards. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> we'll be in touch, and for the rest of you, do keep an eye on the personal ads for uh, extra roles, yes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. As you were. Um. Beautiful. So, hold on. I think we went... I did a thing. Marvel did a thing. Holly, I think we... Penny missed yep. uh, her chance to be the giant okay. lady, right? Yeah, okay, cool. It's her turn! It's her turn! Oh, whoops. That's for me. Okay, Joy, I believe in you! How much longer do y'all want to go? Um, I'm good for at least a bit longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, cool. We're all still doing I'm good. I'm having fun. Hell yeah! I'm having a blast! Hell yeah! yeah. Fun and food is just a good time. God, I love fun This is a hell of a card combo. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, I don't even know what this one means. I'm gonna have to make something for that. Oh fuck, never mind. I know what to do. I'm good. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. Aye. All right, welcome to Welcome to the Ultimate uh Plumbers Association. Today we're hiring for a new plumber. Uh, before we start, I'd like everybody to put one hand on their heart so that we can recite the plumber's oath uh, as an initiation. <clears throat> Unclog your shame. Unclog you are your shame. Unclog your shame. You are a plumber. You are, you a, are plumber. a plumber. The only thing that should be clogged. The only thing that should be clogged. Is our hearts. It's it's our, our hearts. hearts. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> it's very heartwarming. Okay. So. <laughs> to me, all you does. Oh, yeah. No, every single time. <laughs> oh, my arteries. <laughs> all right. So, I uh, see we got a nice uh, list of applicants here. So, first of all, I'm going to bring, I'm going to give the stage to uh, uh, applicant Sophie. Yeah, okay, so uh, here's the thing. I think I'd be a pretty good plumber. I've been living in the sewers for... <laughs> <laughs> I've been living in the sewers for a few months I now. Uh, you know your way around. I know my way around. I know the city sewer system. I, uh, I, uh, I've been fighting the alligators down there. They took One of them took my leg. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't slow me down. You'd be worried it slow me down a dozen because I'm very rapid. I'm a very, I'm a very quick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also, one uh, another qualification I got here. Uh, I got a green card. See, there it is. All right. 
<laughs> Holy Damn. shit. Damn. It's like I'm looking right at it. Yeah, that's right. I see it. Cool. Hey, that's pretty <laughs> neat. All right. So these are this is great. It's it's I'm glad you know you seem pretty resourceful. You seem pretty resourceful. Now I will say I'm not so sure, just based on previous experience, uh, that we're gonna be, you know, dealing with on location jobs to say, uh, so to speak. Um, I mean, I can, so, I can leave the sewer. I'm just saying I know it. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm glad. I'm j I'm just going to go ahead. I'm really, I don't want to sorry, I don't want to be offensive. I don't want to assume things. Uh but you sound seem and look like you're somebody's sidekick. And the problem with that <laughs> is that when you're part of the Great Plumbers Association, I just so desperately need to make sure that we have your full attention, we have your full time and we have your full dedication. So, could you explain more the parameters of that? arrangement that agreement yeah well i don't know if sidekick's the best word to use i'm i'm a student of a uh, master splinter down in the sewers and so you know i've been right i've been um, you know i know how to kick butt uh more like an apprentice yeah more an apprentice <laughs> that's right yeah okay all right it's pretty cool it's yeah pretty cool. i think yeah <laughs> i could karate chop them toilets is, i mean all right all right. That's, uh, How hey, do you think I've been fighting alligators? I don't think you've been fighting alligators, but I guess you could either prove <laughs> me wrong or not. We'll see if you get the job. But uh, next, I want to go down the list. Uh, we got we got uh, applicant Holly. You got some uh, stuff you want to Avast, ye scurvy dogs! <laughs> of the UHS Grand Monogamous Year once <laughs> again! And I'm happy to be trying out something new for me job. Plumbing's always been a special interest of mine, and I think you'll find I'm quite qualified for this one. I've got leadership skills, for instance. After right. years of being the captain of my own ship, I know how to whip a crew into shape. And what is a pipe and the crew for poop? <laughs> Additionally, any others working under me or with me will know they are working under a stern hand who will steer them safe through the seven seas of sewage. Second of all, I've got this X-ray powers I got from a genie one time. I can find a blockage from 20 Damn. miles away. See, clean through it I can, unless they're made of lead. But that's not up to code no more, is it? <laughs> right, 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 okay. But of course, this job is personal. You see, I am no longer the captain of the HMS Grand Monogamous for one reason. The great brown whale, Moby Duke, was came and sank me own boat and capsized all me crew. Nary ah. one survived that night. And you see, from that day forth, I swore no drain. Pipe would ever fall to the scourge of the dump. <laughs> so this is sort of like a now. Now I do want to say, is this like a revenge mission? Har har. That was not an answer either which way. <laughs> I would really Works appreciate it. You know it to be a yes. I. You're right. You're right. You're right. I do. So that explains why you you are carrying that massive fucking mace with you all the time, <laughs> as if you are always ready to attack i'm that's not really uh i mean again not to offend but that doesn't seem like a very traditional pirate's weapon is this a particular like you're going outside your comfort zone for the sake of uh uh right. just for the sake of efficiency it was a trophy i earned from my many years on the open sea and well the traditional flint lock and cutlass don't cut so well in the small pipes but i'm sure you've seen many a plunger job but a mace oh a mace that pounds it down right clean it does <laughs> seems it seems rather messy though what with the flailing and everything <laughs> the captain of the hms grand monogamous is always happy to clean a mess up but if you're making the mess first it just kind of seems a little bit unnecessary cleaning's free of charge all right Hey, I mean, can't argue with that. Well, hey, thanks so much. Uh, you're definitely under consideration. 
uh, you got some interesting qualifications here, and I'm I'm not I'm definitely not writing you off yet. So, uh, all right. Uh, next on the list, uh, we got uh, Miss Marble. You got some. Uh, uh, you want to be a plumber? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Hi. So, um, I want you to answer a question for me first. The reason that you're hiring a new plumber, it's because of all the plumbers you've lost in this field, right? <laughs> I know. I know how dangerous it is. And you need someone. Someone that's motivated by fear. I know. <laughs> I understand the dangers. Yeah, okay. You under oh, you understand the I great know. drainage of 82. <laughs> oh. I know. <laughs> you I, need somebody I who's try not careful. to think about it, but somebody who's careful, someone who can survive. And if I bring if I if I if I if I if I take proper precaution, I'll be the one that's left at the end of all this. And that's what you need. You don't want to put this ad out in another month, do you? I've got grit. Okay. <laughs> I could take on anything. I've I've unclogged the the the, the most demonic of sink drains you could ever possibly imagine. You need somebody who's been through it, somebody who's lived somebody who survived also i have an education i have a phd uh in plumology i went to the most expensive plumbing school in the entire universe because as they say in the hit musical rent i'm a trust fund baby you can <laughs> damn well hey i mean plumbing education is no nothing to sneeze at uh, you know not everybody can get that uh you know, I appreciate all of this, and I don't necessarily think this is a farce or a front of some kind. I believe you, and I, I trust that you, you have these qualities. But and, you know, I don't want to upset you. But based on reading your recommendations and looking at some of your past social media history, all of this sort of toughness and grit and motivated by fear factors about you they all seem to i don't know melt away when you're hung over which <laughs> as i've seen is and heard is pretty frequent and now this is a liability to our group i hope you understand i just want to be sure that we're getting you at your best all the time is there anything you can say to sort of uh, persuade me that this won't be an issue? Well, I have to say, it's been an issue my whole life. And you know what? Again, persuade me it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> it, it had been an issue my whole life. That's why I understand, because I, I was drunk the day my father was taken by the great drainage of 82. Oh, it was a sad day. <laughs> I was at the bottom of the bottle, at the, at the bottom of a bottle for, for such a long time after that event. I didn't know if I would ever bounce back. But after, after plumology school, I, 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 I picked myself up and I fell down a few times. And that's, you know, that's, that's going to be on my social media forever because I just don't know how to delete a post. I'm trying yes. so hard here. It's impossible. No, I, we, nobody knows how to do it. That. We, could, we could teach you later if you're on the Have team. you no tried way. hitting the power button? That way I don't <laughs> see the tweets. <laughs> I've tried so hard to get those, those posts off by social media. But I'm not, honestly, I'm not ashamed of my failures because you know what? I made it back on top. And I'm the best damn plumber you'll ever see. I'm crying. All right, all right. This is. <laughs> Certainly inspiring. That's an inspiring story. I'm not going to lie. I really like the promise of, uh, of a better tomorrow, uh, which honestly, it seems like this whole group is doing their best to work towards. So I am. Um, I'm having a hard time here. I gotta say, we got ourselves uh, got ourselves a, a a a strapping young miss with with a history of pain that leads to a present day of of power and control. Um, we got ourselves a 
uh, a disgruntled pirate captain <laughs> with a with a with a dark and revenge laden past, and uh, we got this big fucking turtle or whatever, and like <laughs> I think all of this is is great. I gotta say, Miss Cantus, your story was inspiring. Brought a tear to to this to this group's eyes, and uh, you know you deserve another chance. So thank you. You, you won't regret this. I'm sorry the card fell. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the opportunity. The good news is you don't need a license to hunt a poop whale. <laughs> <laughs> We stand a recovering queen. <laughs> I love. Wait, I'm she got so that happy about the PhD. I, I I know, like in character, I kind of was a little disparaging about it. I love the Ninja Turtle angle. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Nope. Okay. Oh, no, no! Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> my, my point cards almost fell. Holy you shit. almost lost those points for good. <laughs> <laughs> There's no recovery in Fun Employed. I'd like a non offensive <laughs> card, please. Hell yeah. Just one? Please. Okay. That, good that's, card, fine. Please. that's fine. All right, everybody ready? Oh, yep. I wish I had this card last round. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with these cards. I'm gonna try my best here. <laughs> well, you better figure it out. All right, girls. Okay. Time to do, we're looking for a new head of the cheer squad. <laughs> <laughs> I want the three of you girls to tell me exactly what would make you the best cheerleader sky high has ever seen. <laughs> Damn, that's the sky high. <laughs> we're gonna start with you, Holly. Tell us why you think you should be the head of the cheer squad. I have spent seven years at Cheer Academy. <laughs> license, and at long last, I'm ready to put my learning to the test. Only I have the conviction, the willpower, the strength of mind needed to keep our troops, our sports players, our shoppers, anything cheered, peppy, and raring to go at any moment. And most importantly of all, you can't prove I was behind the incident 12 <laughs> years ago at the Great Shield. Anyone who says otherwise can meet my lawyer. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you've certainly got the attitude for a top tier cheerleader, but I do and worry. I'm more for it. I do, I do worry about the great cheer off because, you know, I do I do know we've done some in your background check. You're quite gluttonous and well, we know what the 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 morgue report said about those cheerleaders. Oh my god. <laughs> are Listen. you sure? Are you sh are we sure we can trust you on the team? A girl gets hungry every now and then. <laughs> And you know, a cheerleader needs the energy she needs to cheer and lead. But I promise you, years of therapy and corrective training have kept me less than ravenous. Well, perhaps eating the other cheerleaders <laughs> let you absorb their power. You can't <laughs> prove that, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. We'll keep you. We'll keep you on the docket. But we're gonna move on over here to Marble Cantus. Marble, tell me why you think you should be head of the cheer squad. First of all, I'm very athletically inclined because I have a history in boxing. <laughs> <laughs> very talented at that. You know, definitely, definitely uh, uh, have 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 uh, have uh, uh, made my made my way through the ring a few times. Uh, gotten in a few scraps. You know, I'm 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 I would I I won't I won't I won't shy away from it. I, I'm I'm good at what I do. You know, I'm physically fit. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to to do some cheerleading, no matter what it takes. Absolutely. And honestly, and I think that honestly, you know, cheering it should be about it should be about like. You know, uplifting fights, our like team, hockey. of course. It's got to be about like uplifting our team, making sure they know that we are like right behind them 100%. But also, screw the other team. Okay. We need to get nasty. 
Fuck those guys. I'm I'm tired of their shit. And lastly, the unique something unique that I can bring to the table is uh, I'm very inventive. You see, uh, you may have noticed that whenever we hold up those cards with the big letters on them, uh, <laughs> you know, like we have to replace them like every couple years um, <laughs> because because you know they they're just like big pieces of cardboard. You know, they're not meant to uh, to to last that long, but with a invention of my own making i have figured out a way to make them last a lifetime and that's this slender frame that you put around it <laughs> it's barely noticeable and yet it makes a world of difference inventive and you know your history in boxing will certainly help when the mascots get a little ri too riled up <laughs> Somebody's got to keep those mascots in their place. Exactly. I am a little worried, however, um, because with your history of boxing, I did notice when you came in here that you've got a walker from an injury. Are you going to be able to cheer like that? Well, time heals all things. I am getting my casts off uh, uh, next week. So, you know, that's like right before the big game. And I'm a very fast learner. So despite everything, also, not to mention my years in boxing have also made me a very fast healer. So I wouldn't be surprised if I could just, you know, like get up and do a little dance right now. I'm just not going to for my because doctor's orders, you know. So you know sorry, <laughs> I just want to confirm you've got casts on with a walker. Are you sort of wobbling? just a little bit just a just little, a little. <laughs> just a little bit like i said fast healer though this will all be right, a problem all right. in a well, week we'll or keep so you, we'll keep you on but i do have to be honest we need people for the cheer and you know next wednesday we i might have to dock a couple of points on you from that but you're you're not written off just yet we're gonna move over on to penny here uh penny mm -mm. tell me why you belong in the cheer squad uh uh oh oh one, two, one, two, three. I can't feel a single thing. <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Go, comma. <Yay! laughs> <laughs> Well, Penny, you've made an incredible first in, uh, uh, impression. Thanks. I feel no pride towards it whatsoever. <laughs> Holy shit. <coughs> I do have one issue with all of this. Um, clearly, despite your, you know, your, your emotional, uh, uh, you know, issues, uh, uh, that's the wrong word. Your lack of emotions, I should say. Um, I, I, you still have the correct attitude, but I do worry that the crowd is going to be a little, you know, a, a not quite in the mood, uh, considering you have that numb face of yours. You're not really giving off those excited expressions. Um, well, you know, what are the eyes but the window to the soul? There's okay. not really a whole lot I can do about that. <laughs> All right. Well, um... <sighs> Wowie zowie. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I almost lost it. Thanks. Wish I was excited. <laughs> Honestly, I, I if I wish I didn't have to do this card because I wanted to just give it to you right after the cheer. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> <gasps> that's Holy that that's heck. that's my peak. I will I will not do anything better than that for the rest of the stream. So <laughs> temper your expectations, folks. Hell yeah. That one went quick. The lightning round. <laughs> <laughs> I got no no fucking clue with these cards. What I'm gonna do with these cards, but sure, yeah, okay. I'm yeah, scared. all right. Yeah, sure. Holly, are we gonna go three for three on pirates? <laughs> Oh, the last one wasn't supposed to be a pirate. I just kind of lean in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we who's, might, jo who's uh, Job Girl? Oh, God, we might uh, give in these cards. Hold on. Technically, it should be Penny again, because it goes this. We just had to go back. But right. since Marble hasn't done it in a while, do we want to have like a weird circle, or do we want to go back to what do we want to do? I don't give a I, shit. I literally don't care either which way. Heck. 
Uh, just for simplicity, let's keep our circle. So, uh, Penny, you're up. Okay. okay. Yeah. All if right. That's cool. But, but. Yeah. No, that's totally cool. So sweet. It's less pressure to top that last thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Gives you a little bit of time to to, to cool off. <clears throat> Hello, folks. Welcome to the great castle of Sir Bockledorf. Today, we are hiring a new butler for our services. Now, the great sir needs many kinds of different favors and amenities and all kinds of different things. So, you will have to bring a good show today and just inspire me that you're the right fit for the job. So, first things first, why don't we go to Miss Baby? <laughs> Who I is, I would love to. Now, for, for, for Master Windelgard, uh, I, I believe I would be an incredible butler. I believe I would be able to uh, uh, do all of the jobs very good. All of the many, many th uh, chores need doing around the house. I could bring uh, yeah, there Master Windelgard. It's a big house. Yes, I could bring Master Windelgard apples, even. Oh, I, he I have loves an apples. apples. You've I done have... your research. Yes, I have an endless supply of apples. I have a, I have a, I, I have a contract with the local apple farm. Oh. I, I, I bring them in very, very, very mm, fresh. You hear food. that, lady? It's going to be hard to beat an Apple contract. <laughs> <laughs> on top of this, I am also. Oh, hold on, hold on. A Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So you're you're breaking into you're breaking into new ground. I see. Yes, indeed, brother. Well then, <laughs> I assume I probably. Cannot call you an expert, <laughs> given <laughs> your lack of experience. Otherwise, is there anything you can sort of do to deter me to this assumption? Well, you see, in the world of wrestling, you see, we have to, we have to behind the scenes, you know, you, you, we have to get many things for many people. Sometimes I had to bring a chair <laughs> onto the ring. That's a long walk. I mean, right, sometimes okay. they... Uh, I have to. I had to clean up my my wounds from a from a match. That's that's basically like cleaning a floor, uh, uh, brother. And uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just uh, truth mm. be told, I'm, I believe I'm very I'm I'm right there for the job. Um, <laughs> not racist no more, brother. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. All right. I, hmm. Well, I appreciate the enthusiasm, and I will certainly get back to you. That Apple contract is certainly enticing. Mm -hmm. I bought it All with right. my wrestling money. I understand that concept. All right. <laughs> Up next. <laughs> we've got... Okay. Uh, Miss Holly, you have uh, any sort of <laughs> qualifications that would put you uh, ahead of the pack as it goes. Here again, rather, rather <laughs> rambunctious energy, grand monogamous, and after a fine life on the high seas, I'm ready for a different line of work in the buttery business. As an ex-captain, oh. I've got quite a bit of experience with hospitality with me crew, so adapting to this should be no trouble, har har. But I bring more than that to the table. For instance, all my years of sailing have made me quite the survivalist. I know the good master always was kind of self-conscious, not being the great master huntsman his father was. I'd be happy to show him the ropes. And should the fort ever come under siege, well, let's just say we'll have no trouble roughing it and taking back the castle. Gorilla yes, stuff. well, and also the castle is rather large. And, you know, I personally find myself getting lost sometimes, sometimes upwards of weeks. So, you know, on a particularly, uh, should I say, discombobulated day, I could see those coming into play, yes. Har har, the rats in the stairwell will make for fine stew. We could live off for weeks <laughs> if need be. Second of all, I know a expenses to get their job done right but i promise you we won't need nothing up the good lord's coffers i've got years of plunder behind me which i can <laughs> use for all sorts of contract work i can get new hired help i can replace anything crumbling in the walls i can get as many apples as your heart desires oh. for a small fee of course well yes what is the purpose of the rich but to get richer 
her, and should I be working under the good lord, I'd have no trouble sharing the wealth, as it were. Yes, this is rather enticing. As well, as I'm sure you've heard under my many years sailing, I've met many a genie, and one gift they gave me was the gift of film. I have the <laughs> ability never before seen from the future to take photographs, they call them, of all the splendid moments of the Lord, trapped in time forever to be viewed at his pleasure. Beautiful. All right, well... I there is certainly a lot to consider here. Um, could you explain to me, could you describe the story behind the absolute, the absolute plethora of skin art you've, you've, you've found yourself <laughs> with? <laughs> well, you see, every bit of ink's a tale to tell on my days of the fine seas. This one, me first wife, oh, how I miss her, eaten by a whale she was. This, me second wife, oh, how I miss her, eaten by a whale she was. No, this, these the same whale. My <laughs> third wife, oh, how I miss her, she was the whale, but not for long. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, mm, the crashing of me ship, the death of me crew, oh, I miss them every day, but I keep them on me, inked on my body ever memorialized. And this one was my fourth wife. How I miss her. Lost her to a whale I did. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely tragic. So I, I assume you find yourself with not much else to go. to no, no, Nowhere really to go. So we could certainly house you for an extended period of time. We wouldn't really have much worry of losing you to other obligations. Ah, uh, kindly appreciate it would be, but I understand if you must go with other choices. Right, okay. Um, thank you so much for your application. Uh, moving on to our final applicant of the, of the evening. Um, Miss Cantus, was it? Oh, yes, it's very nice to meet you. Uh, I, I uh, couldn't help but overhear your last interview, and I have to say it sounded like a whale of a time. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, either way, I personally have had plenty of experience. You know, I know that, that words and language evolve over time and whatnot, but, you know, uh, I, I technically have experience in the in the butlery field, but uh, I was more of a minion to many a lord and demon king uh, uh, in my day. I'm I'm very very good at what I do. S similar branches of Sim the same yes, career. Yes, yes absolutely. <laughs> and I would like to uh, sort of demonstrate my skill by uh, well, I should I should inform you. I've already given the master. A piece of cake. I'm just that fast. I work that quickly. M M Master Vandalgar. Yes, you know. Yes. Have you received this this pastry? Yeah, that nice lady gave it to me. All right. <laughs> yep, your 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 tale has been verified. Um, I appreciate your diligence. I appreciate your background. What I don't appreciate is, well, for one, <laughs> your lack of ability to read the room, as it were, and secondly, I, I cannot help but feel that your loyalty ultimately might be in question, um, and there's really, you know, there's only so much uh, distraction we can really uh, sort of a uh, sort of excuse here in this operation we we run a very very tight ship here and the master does require many services um and i'm just worried because it seems you are distracted it seems you might be hearing voices um i see you looking around and sort of uh i see your ears perk up in a way that that leads me to believe you might still be under the thrall of your previous master, and I just find that concerning. Well, as you know, when you're a minion to many demon king, a demon king is never truly slain. Uh, 
despite the the uh, the valiant warrior's best efforts to uh, rid him of this world. However, he is he's they are not of this world anymore. Uh, they have all perished. Unfortunately, they still have a direct communication line to my brain. I swear no allegiance to them and would be happy to offer my services to another. But I do, yes, I do hear their voices. And let me tell you, <laughs> they are a vulgar bunch. Yes. <laughs> I... Mm, very, very good applicants today. I, I understand the... The sort of contract you've you found yourself in um, might be hard to ultimately break free from. Uh, <laughs> I just I just worry that if your masters are not dealt with to the fullest extent, then it it might one day come to bite us in in the posterior. Uh, <laughs> with ultimately a return of the dark forces that would uh unfortunately probably take you away from us so i i cannot accept your application um i do very much appreciate the potential of someone who truly truly has nothing big <laughs> <laughs> you hear that marianne bethany all 70 of me ex-wives i well, hit the <laughs> Not a well, no, no your, war, your services will be most appreciated. Oh, yeah. I can start immediately. That's a fun little character arc for the pirate. Yeah. <laughs> good, good for the pirate. Uh huh. I hope there's parking space for the Grand Monogamous. Oh. <laughs> I have bad news. That boat was torn up years ago oh, by no. whale. Oh no. God, hmm. I love this game. It's oh, so what the good. fuck is this combo? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Um, I might, uh, I might need. I don't know if I want this one. Another second. I don't need to like step no, away per se. But okay. I... okay. Okay. Has it actually? You know, right. It's a good time for me to fucking catch up on donations. Actually. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Uh. Okay, so Strong Sandwich donated $20.40 and said if my calculations are correct, this will make the donation goal percentage a funny number. I watched that happen and it didn't, but I appreciate it anyways. <laughs> Somebody else donated before you did. Uh, under that, we've got Juice Bex donated $3 and said Holly is too powerful. Uh, we've got Peach Fern donated a dollar and said your best friend just came out as trans and it made you cry. Can we get some trans champs in chat? Hell yeah, we already got those. I saw that happen. Uh, Invader Des donated 10 bucks and said, I love you all so much. Thank you. We love you too. Uh, Kitty donated $3 and said, How do you feel about chaos and destruction? Um, <laughs> personally, not on board. Uh, Duke oh, donated one dollar and said, "Don't forget to mention so hashtag Sof Gallery, the place where people can put fan art and Twitter." I've been, I've seen that like sixty times and I keep forgetting to talk about it out loud. I just haven't found a spot to put it. But yeah, if you want to do fan art, hashtag Sof Gallery on Twitter. Uh, after this, uh, I'll check and see if there's any on there, and if there is, we'll do a little fan art showcase. Hell yeah! Lambhoof donated four twenty and said, uh, "It's four dollars twenty cents." And said, "Whale milk is a sticky paste consistency in order to travel underwater." Oh, yama yama. Peach Fern donated a dollar and says stream hasn't started, but I'm crying a little bit. I only got... Peach, the stream has definitely started. Uh, but uh -oh. you re only recently got into watching streamers. It's been so wholesome and good for your mental health and just for watching cool trans girls. Hell yeah, Peach Fern. I'm really glad that, uh, that you know, me and all these gals can can be good for you, for, for you know, improving your day, improving your, you know, your your mood and stuff. Oh, Marble just disappeared. Uh-oh. What? You're not in the game anymore. <laughs> Why am I going to the game anymore? It's just I'm in the game. It's just I'm in the game. Um, what happens when I do this? Uh, donated three dollars. Oh, no, I can't do anything. Did we not read this? I think we read that already. Um, I think Old Man Henderson donated an, uh, another sixty nine sixty nine, but I could be wrong. I can't Old tell where Henderson we are in time wise. Maybe not. Can no, you no, 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 that was the first one. Ah, uh, yes, I can. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool. I think yeah, I think we're up to date then. Uh, let's get you back in here. Boop. Do you remember the password? Uh-huh. 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 
I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these cards. <laughs> Welcome back, Marple. Bob. My back. Welcome back. Hello. Hi, I missed you all so much. Oh, here, 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 here. Hi, uh, I'm gonna be hiring. Oh, wait, are we getting started? Yeah, I was gonna ask Penny, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah. Sick. Hi, hi, everybody. I am, I wanted to talk. I, I invited you all here because we need to hire a new celebrity impersonator. So, whoever is the best at impersonating a celebrity, please, um, I want you to interview for a job. Okay, <laughs> let's start with, let's start with a, a penny. How about you go first and let's hear, uh, what you can do for the job of a celebrity impersonator. Uh, yeah, so I'm, uh, my name is Danny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, damn. I'm sorry. I, I actually, I think I might need to step away. Fuck. Okay. Sorry. I, I got like, I, I, I am distracted. Get the fuck out of my office. I'm interviewing someone I'm else. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I will. I'll be back. Okay. I'll miss you. If they put okay. I'll miss you too. Enjoy the. Enjoy Danny just knowing okay. that he's there. All right, Sorry, Holly, I can't come to the interview. You... <laughs> all right, Molly. Why don't you do, do your interview? Because we need a celebrity impersonator so bad. And yeah. we need one so bad, and we need one so bad. Yeah, yeah. I saw your personal ads. I'm more than happy to give it a try. First of all, call me Bruce. I'm Bruce, a famed construction and hired goon duo. Bruce and Russell, hired muscle. Happy to be here. First of all, I've always dreamed of being an impersonator of all kinds of celebrities. Uh, we got Hulk Hogan. We got uh, Danny DeVito. I think those are the only ones. I stopped counting after that. Well, uh... <laughs> First of all, I don't think I was really all that cut out for the job at first, but then one day when me and Russell was working on uh, one of our contract jobs, uh, we unearthed a little cave and it was full of magical fairies, and they blessed us for freedom with this fairy dust, and I could oh, sprinkle wow. it on me, and bam, the one. You need a wrestler? I got him. You need an actor? I got him. You need the queen? I got him. Second of all, anyone doubts me? Jackhammer, straight to the knees. <laughs> Wakes every time. No one ever doubts you. Third of all, someone don't. Someone ain't intimidated by the chain, by the jackhammer. Chainsaw. Easy as that. That way, you get your celebrity impersonator trapped in a cage. All you do, you chainsaw your way out. Then you jackhammer to the kneecaps. Simple. Easy every time. Well, okay, all right. I normally wouldn't support enacting violence on our clients. Yeah, you would. However, you... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, well, I did notice that you also brought that mace with you. <laughs> Listen, sometimes a jackhammer and a chainsaw are not enough. You know, you run out of power. You run out of fuel. There's no outlet nearby for you to plug them in. Sometimes fairy dust ain't gonna do. You gotta get medieval on them. Oh, okay. The Got understand. all my bases covered as long as your bases are all violence and um, magical fairy dust. <laughs> the mace definitely seems a lot slower of a death than the other two. Sometimes you gotta get slow with it, get passionate, get nice with it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I understand your angle here, and I think that you're bringing a whole lot to the table. I'll get back to you in four to six weeks. Happy to hear it. Talk to you okay. then. Okay. All right, thank you. thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Sophie, Sophie, could you please go back here? I gotta interview you because I wanna know if you are gonna be our celebrity impersonator. If you're gonna be that for us, for this company, because I really want to know, and I want to know so bad. That's a really roundabout way to say that, but hi, yes, Marble, I'd love to. <laughs> uh, I, I really do think I'd be good for this job. Um, listen, I'm just going to lay it on you. Give me a celebrity voice. Um, 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 um. All right, I got that one. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Done. Look at that. Easy. <laughs> oh my goodness, you another, just did that. Give me another celebrity <laughs> voice. Okay, um, what about, what about, um, what about Poor Rapper the Rapper, my favorite celebrity? Um, there, done, easy. Lay a tip on Damn. the, in the, in the hat. 
I, uh, I'm an expert. I'm an expert at voice impression, uh, celebrity impressions. I, <laughs> I, I, I ordered a whole bunch of costumes from Amazon. Those like ten dollar cosplays, so I can dress up as any celebrity and I can impersonate them real good. Those packages should be on the way from Amazon pretty soon. <laughs> um, I can e- to hear. I can even do characters from the movies they play. I do a real good Edward Scissorhands. That's basically a claw, right? That's that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> It's I'm I'm I mean I'm I'm the whole package. Give me another celebrity voice. Okay, what about what about Sonic the Hedgehog? Um Boom. You can't even Wow Can't even That was this. amazing. Now the there is something that I do want to make note of. You did mention that you order from Amazon and I fear that you do have a lot of privilege and can't understand the working class. <laughs> Now here's what you gotta hear. Here's what you gotta know. Here's what you gotta listen to. I'm a method actor. All right, I'm gonna be impersonating <laughs> celebrities. I gotta act like I got that privilege, right? Oh, very interesting. So that was all. That was just that. Was, that was okay. That, that was method acting. That makes it okay. That makes it okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ethically uncompromised. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Well, okay. Well, should we just should we just wait? Should we should? Is it th- 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 there was supposed to be a third applicant? Yeah, I got um, another four to six week before I hear back from you, so I ain't mind waiting. Okay, okay, we'll wait four to six weeks. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, right, see you later. all right, everybody, see you in, uh, let me see, that's, uh, see y'all in, like, June, July-ish, I think? Come June back, July-ish. finish off the stream? I think that'll be okay. good, yeah. Okay. Sounds great. Then I could just, I don't want this round. <laughs> okay, should, 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 I, should I just should I just pick a winner? Uh, I feel like we probably should, yeah, I don't know when Penny's came back. Okay, all right, let me review my options real quick. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. I do appreciate the violence, yeah. but the method acting also seems pretty nice. Mm. Also, I heard a lot of examples from you. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say, as a celebrity impersonator, you definitely have my vote. Wow. Yeah, I've got so many. Wow. I'm, I'm hired so many times. I'm going to make so right, much give money. Me a sec. I got to call my boy to pick me up. Yeah, hello? Yeah, hey, Russell. It's me, Bruce. Yeah, the mace didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need to pick up around uh, four to six weeks from now. Thanks. Yeah, I'll catch you later. Should yeah, I be yeah. worried about that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm getting like confused at which cards the discard pile here now because they're getting the same size. Well, you see, uh, uh, discard is the. the oh, I the, get it. That's a <laughs> joke. <laughs> I thought discard was the program we're using to talk to each other over the internet. Oh, that's another joke. That's another joke. Oh my god, they got jokes on this stream. What the? Also, sp- wait. I think Spin Dash donated another dollars. Hold on, let me check the event feed here. Which refreshes every time I open it for someone. Uh, Spin Dash said a dollar or gave a dollar ninety eight and said I didn't mean to seem like I was mad about that joke. This has been a great speed. Oh yeah, Spin Dash. No, I was joking too. I know. I know. We're good. We're good. I like to tease my chat sometimes. For example, uh, hey chat, stinky. Yo, you're just gonna sit there and take that? <laughs> 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 Chat's gonna pile <laughs> Bruce and Russell hired muscle. <laughs> oh wait, I don't need this. <sighs> wow. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm ready, whatever. It's like a freaking bullet every time my funny bone. <laughs> Good. Alright, are you folks ready or do you think we should wait a little bit more? I think I'm back. ready. Oh, look at that. Hey, welcome back. Just Perfect time. timing. Oh. Welcome back, welcome back. Hell yeah. Um, I probably only got like 
one more in me, if that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm pretty out of steam myself, honestly. I think it's the last one. Final round. Uh, you know what? That works out because the, the, the Holly's the last one. This we, it's a full round. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Let me know when you're ready. I don't know what this. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I think I put those in the wrong. Fuck, sorry. It's okay. Okay, I, I guess I guess this is what I'm working with. <laughs> ah, perfect. Now then, coming to this fine meeting of the Gentle Women Society. <laughs> it's an honor to have you all here, and I do know that you are all eager to know who amongst you will be our next archaeologist. Now, this is a job that requires not only smarts, but... The ability to get down and dirty. You're not afraid to get deep into the earth. Get digging. Find the clues that Mother Nature has left for us from the world of the past and piece them together. Now, first of all, we have Ms. Marble with us here today. How about you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello. Um, hi. I'm very happy to be in interviewing for this position. You know, I've always wanted to be an archaeologist because... Of course. Well... My father, he uh, ah. he was one of the best around, and well, he worked so hard at everything he did, and I. Yes, yes, I just, we at the society will never forget. Fred. <laughs> yeah, and also it does help that ever since you know, ever since I knew that I wanted to follow in my father's footsteps. I've kind of just been, you know, doing it on my own. You know, I got that field experience. You know, I understand. I, I know all about, like, rocks and, and other stuff that you do in archaeology. <laughs> um, of course, yes. Experience is encouraged, not required, but encouraged. It does help with the onboarding process. And also, I think the, the, the best part for me personally is that, is that both of my hands are shovels. You know, I kind of <laughs> just had that done, so I'd be really good at archaeology. <laughs> Just, just, just really good at it. <laughs> yes, of course. I see you are committed not only to the bit, but committed to the job. <laughs> a lifestyle for advancing humanity. It's not just a job, it's who I am. If they don't oh, call me Marble Shovel Hands. Well, Ms. Shovel Hands, <laughs> I would say among normal circumstances, we would be happy to have you, but number one, you are not today's only applicant, and number two, one thing does worry me, after the horrible incident your father suffered, and the incident in which your hands were replaced, I'm afraid the evil taint does still <laughs> exude through your body, and I am concerned how that may affect other relics of the cursed variety we may encounter. <laughs> <laughs> Can you convince me that this will not be a hazard on the job? <laughs> well, of course, when digging up ancient relics, there is always that fear that one of them will be cursed. But I, I think that the uh, that the uh, otherworldly taint from the loss of my father at a very young age—that's <laughs> a real I'm sentence I just said. <laughs> 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 While it may permeate throughout my emotional life, it has never once impacted my archaeology. And as the son of uh, David McArthurology, uh, <laughs> I I think that uh, you know I think that 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 experience will outweigh any any dangers we may encounter. Yes, I must say though the risk is there. Your pedigree is nothing to sniff at. I must not turn you away so hastily. Thank you very much for the interview. This has been enlightening. Now, uh, Mrs. Parker, was it? Hello! Hello! So it's funny you mentioned cursed artifacts. <laughs> Curses are never I'm... funny. <laughs> well, this one might be a little funny. I'm a sentient nutcracker! Oh? Hello! Well... 
This is a first, I must say. Yes, so I have experience in the realm of of cursed items. I know how to how to divert the attention of the team away from a path that would lead them to being forever cursed and tainted with the dark energy in the, the field. The team is paramount, yes. Yes, I can keep our team safe. I can keep our team whole. And I can keep our team... Uh, just, just ready, ready to take on, ready to take on the world ahead of us. Um, as for my other qualifications, I'm very open. Being a sentient nutcracker and all, I don't get a lot of work. I, I feel see. like this is one of those things where it's like, if I'm not born for this, then what's even <laughs> going on? <laughs> <laughs> so, why am I even here, you know? So, uh, I'm ready and I am available at all times. And I'm here to bring a new spin into archaeology. Oh? You see, for many, many, many years, we've been focused on what's underground. Of course. <laughs> Given, yes, that's what archaeology is, right? But I'm a believer that anything can be anything as long as we make it so. And I oh. believe that archaeology can be brought to new greatness. You see, I specialize in cloud archaeology. Interesting. <laughs> I have long wondered what delights and treasures the clouds could hold hovering I above us. Haunting us. Yes, it's quite <laughs> magical. I've been led to believe in my studies that there are wonders not yet found up there in the sky in the great beyond. And I would just love to have the backing of such a such a such an established organization to be able to finally chase my dream and dig through those clouds and find culture and secrets that we've never stumbled upon before. Yes, we would be honored to have one of such a pedigree as yours. Your enthusiasm for heights not yet discovered, if you'll excuse the slight pun, is very compelling, I must admit. And the fact that your schedule is always open is a definite plus. Yes, I, I have... do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> not if I can help it, you won't. <laughs> now, I've read your resume and I must say I'm quite impressed your thesis on the ancient cloud societies brought a tear to my eye, it did, but I must say I am quite concerned as you have, in fact, attracted the ire of the native dragon societies of the heavens. Oh, those dragons are always trying to get my goat, if you will. Um, and yes, it has been a problem in the past. You see, being a cursed ancient artifact of sorts, I am, uh, I am very valuable as a treasure. And so yes. I am always being sought out by the dragons for their treasure stashes. They would just love more than anything else to be able to just pluck me up off of the ground and bring me to their caves and hold me there for all of eternity. But here's now, the fun part. Yes. I've been equipped with dragon repellent. <laughs> Fascinating. And I always have it on me. I always, I have plenty of refreshers in my, in my small nutcracker bag. And you're certain and, that it works? Oh, I'm certain. I ran into one of those fuckers one time. <laughs> I thought I heard something last week. Yes, it was buck wild. Now, occupational hazards are, of course, always... But it is good to know you've come prepared for your, shall we say, unique stature and status on the job like i said i'm open of course of course you will be strongly considered for the job and we thank you for your time now Miss sophie we come to you last and i'd like to hear what you believe you can bring to the table of our esteemed society hi uh nice to meet you sophie as you as you uh, probably know i've got some experience in the field um uh, you know i've i've been raiding tombs and stuff i'm not, not laura Cl croft don't get it twisted but no i've been raiding tombs real dear. oh she Love could be that. though she could be and anyways it's fine it's fine it's fine it doesn't matter because you know i'm i've been i've been raiding tombs and stuff um uh i was uh bestowed once with uh with with godlike powers um of in course. my work so you know uh that, that you know that's that's 
like you said earlier, occupational hazards. Um, I am the occupational hazard now. Um, but it sort of balances out because, like, I I also kind of work for the devil. I'm kind of on his I side see. a little bit, you know. Godlike powers, but also you know, kind of like devil devil devilish schemes, right? You got it. Uh, uh, I'm. But you know, it's really easy for me to like clear out rocks and stuff. You know, and I can just kind of. Thanos snap them away. It's pretty easy. Oh. Um, bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need a second. <laughs> <laughs> The bleeping in this room is effective. Oh, yes, I have been asking the local staff to get it looked at. And, you know, we're always quite so busy. Well, you know how it is with dragons, I take it. Oh, I know it. Now, Miss Sophie, I must say, your, how should I put it, unique perspective on the world of theology, while in your case may cause some obstacles for our work and your personal work, I must say your unique perspective would be rather valued for the work we've been doing recently, motherfucker. Now, huh? <laughs> I, I, I must ask you, however, this sack was delivered to my doorstep <laughs> the other day with your name on it. Would you care to tell me why? Yeah, that's where I put my rocks. Madam, it reeks. <laughs> what have you been doing to those rocks? Hey, that's between me and the devil, okay? Ah, my mistake. I got god powers. You, you know, I need a little patient. privacy. Oh, of course, of course. Wait a minute. Mother? <laughs> a family reunion. <laughs> My daughter you created me. Yes. <laughs> wow, I wish I wish I could have a family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear me, you must forgive me for my outburst, ladies and fine gentlemen of okay. the society. Thank you. I have a difficult decision to make. Of course, I want you to know there are no hard feelings, no matter what. And I do ask that or godlike powers not be used to smite me for this decision. Again, it is nothing personal. We do have limited slots to fill. I do encourage you to apply once again when the time comes. However, I'm afraid this application can only be granted to one and one alone, and that would be the dear Nutcracker. <laughs> yes! They told me Scott <laughs> wouldn't work! Here I'm, I come! I'm sorry. You must understand that their hours are well, frankly, exactly the That's okay. For our, I'm, I'm so proud shift. of my daughter. <laughs> and of the course, world, here I come! Of course, with our recent expeditions into the wretched sky, we could use all the help we can get with <laughs> the dragon. I thank you all for your time. Ms. Cracker, we will be in touch. <laughs> I'll pack my repellent. You'd better. <laughs> <laughs> I will, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good last round. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Bringing it all together. Hell yeah. Oh, man. All right. All right. Thank you all for coming down. This was a lot of fun. Who uh, who got it? Uh, you and I tied, actually, funny. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hell yeah. I had two. Wow. I also had two. Oh, we all that's did. exactly that's how high I could count, so thanks fucking goodness. Everybody <laughs> wins in, in that's my a tie. That means no one wins. Everybody did great though. That was yeah, so fun. Everybody that was so fun. Wins. All right. Oh, that was so much fun. Everybody's been waiting for this. No, I wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh... We can reset it. <laughs> I think. 
<laughs> just keep flipping. Just keep flipping. Everybody gets a turn. <laughs> oh. oh, it's like we're juggling. Oh, maybe we can bring it back. Maybe we can bring it back. <laughs> I just, no. Okay. Oh, no. The cards are endlessly falling into the void. <laughs> um, let me just check and see if there's any other things I got to catch up on. Nope. Okay, so we're good on donations. Uh, before I finish up here, I want to do the art showcase. Y'all are welcome to stay if you want, but if you got to go, that's totally cool. Um, but we're going to go to Twitter at the hashtag Soph Gallery and just freaking take a look. Let's freaking take a Let's look. Let's freaking take a look. Let's yeah, freaking take a look. Let's take a fucking look. <laughs> Let's take a f look. <laughs> I was really hoping, uh, I was really hoping, Marvel, that you would press the button, like, 15 seconds after a Holly called Sophia motherfucker. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really good. God. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, let me. You son of a bitch. Fuck, I just realized I was going for like the gentlewoman persona. I should have called you my good bitch. No. Oh, no. Uh... I want to do over. That's fine. It landed. <laughs> no, it landed real good. All right, hold on. Let me. I'm going to like. Get a custom fan art view going here. This will be good. Squeeze the squeeze the crop down a little bit. No BS. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Boom. Look at that. Alrighty. So, uh, right at the top here. Oh, there's a new result. Look at that. Uh, we've got from uh, Perp at Perpetua Perpetua Reality. No L there. Uh, we've got uh, <laughs> we got our. our Oh, what? Hold on. There's a lot I gotta catch up on here. Oh my god, this is like... Oh, this is the characters! Oh! <laughs> I see! Oh, that's so good! Oh god, I don't like the drippiness. <laughs> I hate seeing the awful things I create, like, come to life like that. <laughs> yeah, right? Mm -hmm. so, uh, folks are saying it's cropped a little small. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, it is. Why don't you look at that? Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh god, I forgot how to go big. There we go. There we go. And boom, look at that extendo. Yeah. Um There we go. Sorry, I can show the full one now here. Um let me just close out the alert box for a second here so you all can see fully. But yeah, so we've got like our cards on the left side here and then and then who won and then yeah, it's good stuff. Um <laughs> over here we've got <laughs> Dictator Scout TF2. Hey, there I am. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um we've got uh the super Oh yeah, my genetically engineered. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love the the the, the body cracks. And oh man. Uh marble, I think that yeah, you're back there. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> funny, hell yeah, scheming against me. No, that's super good. Uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, next one is by Artie at Soda Pop Sergeant. Uh, <laughs> Holly's saying, uh, Holly, would you like to voice this for me? I'm gonna destroy capitalism. Is <laughs> <laughs> Penny? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I got bones. Yeah, I am. I got bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> no one then, does it like Parker. <laughs> we've got mar mar the marble as the as the plumber. You won't. <laughs> you want someone to my fear. And then, holy shit! I love the face you gave me here with this apple. I love <laughs> apples. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, this one is actually from a couple of days ago, but I'm gonna show it off anyways. It's from Angel Number One, Bubby Stan, uh, Doll of a Doll of Angel. Um, uh, so mentioned something about being a vampire in a Cry of Fear stream, so I've had this idea since then. It's a work in progress, but you thought it looked nice. I love this so That's much. Adorable. It's so cute. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah. And then the last. Oh no, we got a couple here actually. Still, Wait, this way we've already seen that one. Um, we've got here. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> Two words. Ambition. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Couldn't stop thinking about that. that that's from Dr. Lovely. Dr. Bones. That's so good. That's so good. 
and then Taste the Freeman, at Taste the Freeman. Gordon Freeman himself, ladies and gentlemen. Gordon Freeman taking a day off from his busy work days at Black Mesa slash the Resistance. Because some idiot hired this creature as a pimp. It's exactly as I envisioned it. You yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> a, a lovely Perfectly. cavity you could like str put a string through. It's perfect. <laughs> I can fit so many documents in this bad baby. <laughs> what can I say? We just really needed an office pimp, and they seem to meet all the qualifications. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, that's like they the had first experience thing. with bitches. <laughs> <laughs> they had experience oh. with. <laughs> 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 oh man, that was the uh, that was the first um, art showcase I've gotten to do. I'm very excited. I hope we get more fan art. I'm gonna be checking this at the end of every stream from now on. But I think hell yeah, I think we are done uh, for now. Um, I just want to say like thank you, everybody. So many people showed up. This is a wild stream. Thank you guys for coming in. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while now. <laughs> I've been wanting to play Fun was... Employed specifically, but like yeah, yeah. this was so oh, my fun. God. I, was so I, fun. I I I can't believe I don't play this game more. Like it's right? it's it's so good. It's so good. yeah. I was really nervous because this was my first time doing this. I had such a good fucking yeah. time. Oh you my did god, so good. Yeah. it's so good. <laughs> It's wild to me that that was your first time playing Fun and Play. Honestly, <laughs> like, like, yeah. like, if you didn't, if you didn't say that, I would not have like assumed that mm -hmm. because you fucking you settled into it like just so quickly. <laughs> Thank you. Let's Anyways, do this again soon. Let's do this. I'd I would love, love to. to. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. yeah! Um, I guess yeah. before we finish up, let's let's get a raid going. What's our raid phrase gonna be? There's so many good quotes from tonight. Oh my god! Mm. Yeah. I'm a big fan of two words ambition. I love oh. that. That's pretty oh, good. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Sure, we'll do that. Um, <laughs> there you. is an issue. Nobody I'm following is currently, like literally nobody I follow is currently streaming. Oh. You want me to give uh, you one? Yeah, give me one. Hit me with one. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see who's on mine. Um, we could raid Hachiko Syndrome. Oh Hell shit, yeah. let's raid Ellie. Hell yeah, hit me with the, uh, hit me with that, uh, URL. Okay, hang on, 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 And then I'm gonna give everybody the... Thank you! Uh, the... Here's the highlight button. There we go, there's your raid phrase, everybody. Copy that, paste that into, uh, into, <laughs> into the stream when we get there. Let's go freaking do it. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, again. Just thank you, everybody, for being so generous. This has been a wild stream. Uh, that's a lot of dollars. Holy shit, I haven't talked nearly <laughs> enough about that. That's so many dollars. Yo, that's a big number. That's a big number, right? Great work, everyone, coming through for Sophie. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> you deserve it! Thank you. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing before we left off, leave off is just, I'm pushing for partner right now. So um, if y'all uh, want to support me, make sure make that happen. Freaking hop in these streams. Tell your friends. Tell Obama. He could probably tell draw him. him some support. Tell him. I don't care if he watches he just, it, but like he, he needs to know. know. He needs I'll, to uh, know. I'll, he needs I'll, to be aware. I'll do my best to <laughs> make it to uh, another stream in the future. Mr. Obama, I'm coming for you! Hey, Obama, oh, no. guess what? Obama, guess what? Well, uh, what is it? Bye, <laughs> 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 everybody! That was, uh, that was pretty sick. 